Welcome everybody for the twelfth session of our Dungeons and Dragons Horde of the Dragon Queen campaign, um, and it's going to be an exciting one because we've got a, a return of a of a party member that was a fan favorite, and that is Fife. Fife has returned. It's me. Now she's going to squeeze in. Uh, she's going to uh, <laughs> squeeze in wherever she sees fit because uh, she knows her backstory of what's been going on. So. Um, uh, just give me the word Fife, and uh, we'll, we'll get you right in. Sounds good. Um, and Kravik, do you want to uh, do you want to kind of recap from what happened last time? You got it. On a mission from the Harpers in the Order of the Gauntlet to find out what the Dragon Cult are carrying and to where and for what purpose continues. The rogue Hamlin waited forever to fall asleep and then snuck down into the camp to try and rob them of some of their valuable treasure, but was caught. The cult imprisoned him. The group rescued Hamlin, nah, but he has spent the past day completely unconscious. They found a hidden entry into a tunnel that took them into a desolate swamp, and after making their way through it, meeting a black dragon on their way, they stumble upon a castle in the distance. All right, and so you guys have, uh, you're standing in front of this castle now. It's, uh, you know, it's it's in the distance, um, and uh, in front of you, uh, there is... Uh, well, to the, you know, it's a very swampy, murky area, and uh, to your right, you do see a, uh, what looks like a fenced-off area with some very large lizards uh, kind of gathered in there, um, and ahead of you, before the castle, you do see a couple of small huts, um, uh, some look to just be kind of fast thrown together as if they're made of mob or uh, mud from the, bo from the bog, and, uh, and uh, two larger structures um, shaped like an L uh, in front of you. Uh, they're built out of reed and um, a little bit, a little bit sturdier built uh, as it leads its way up to the castle, um, which I should have a map for for this if we can get it to work. We're having trouble with this campaign on some of the maps, um, but I'm going to share it. And we'll see what we got here. Let's see here. Hey, can I totally cut in with a random uh, uh, unrelated question? Sure. Yeah. For the group. Uh, does anybody have the spell Disguise I Self? Uh, I do. No, I'm okay. not in, so. <clears throat> I have I Ultra well. Self. I have I have something called disguise self. Do you think that would be a useful thing for the for stealth missions? Definitely. Mm, okay. Get Hamlin in the tracker here. All right, I'm gonna drop everybody on the map now. How do you pronounce that? Na Naritar? Naritar? In my brain, Naru it's called Naruto. <laughs> mm. right, that's canon. That's uh, officially canon. I've been saying nar Naritar. Uh, I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I've been going with. Okay. Okay, everybody should be dropped in. Um, can everybody see? Is this map actually no. working? Uh, I think I do see, but we're extremely zoomed out. Yeah, you gotta yeah, zoom this way map is in. Huge. Yeah. This is just a giant, giant map. Okay. Yeah, you gotta zoom way in. I think right. we can. I do not see anything. Okay. I have zoomed. So, um, I want to also mention that when you guys left off behind you, there is, uh, you know, not too far behind you, you guys had actually went across a swamp. So there are uh, still the two canoes that you guys used to cross uh, the deeper water of the swamp. Um, and you guys had also ran into several lizard folk um, during your adventure here. And and up ahead, uh, you can see the busy body work of bully wa billy uh, bully wogs, uh, the frog like creatures. You guys ran into those as well, and the lizard folk. You don't really at this particular time see any humans or cultists. Uh, just a heads up, I still do not see the map, and I have yeah. I think there's something wrong with the in maps. and out. Um. Hang on, I'm going to try to fix it. Mm. 
What are you doing? Fixing the map? Yeah, I'm trying to find what the issue is here. We may just have to continue with the... Theater of the Mind. Theater of the Mind, yeah. And I'll just leave the map up for... Uh... Does anybody see it? Yeah, I see, I see I the map. See it. It's like kind of fragmented, <clears throat> but... I also don't see it, I will say. Let me make sure, Fife, you might be having trouble because you're not in the combat tracker. Let me share it again. There, it says you're on it. I just need to drop you on it to see if you see it. Mm, okay, I'm here. I see it. I yeah, don't I think, still don't uh, see it. I don't think is... doesn't look like... Uh... It doesn't look like Krabix on the map. Oh, my bad. No wonder you don't see Krabix. Mm. You're not on the map. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, okay, now I see it. All right, so so can everybody see it now? Is it working? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, cool. I can, see, I can see the map, but I... Oh, there we are. Yeah, I'm, I must be just way far out. All right, yeah, right. it's zoomed way out. It's a huge map. Okay, cool. So it does work. Beautiful. All right. Um, so it's up to you guys where you want to go. Um, now, uh, I don't know how far the map is showing for you guys, but it uh, to your right is that pin, um, or to the south, I should say. Um, that I was talking about with a lot of lizards inside, um, and then to your to the north is uh, more of a very deep kind of swamp, running water, um, and then the pathway is actually just leading uh, to the east, uh, and that's going towards the castle. Is Hamlin awake? Um, you know what? Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, so. <laughs> Hamlin is is coming too. He's a little groggy. Whoa. At, the, at this point, he's going to be at a disadvantage for rolls. Um, uh, but he feel he feels <laughs> kind of uh, he feels drugged. He feels like he is um, heavily like coming out of a very heavy uh, night of drinking. Oh, are we doing any uh, role playing for how Fife is suddenly with us again? I am not here. She's not I actually am. there. That's just so she I can just see. Need to see the map, <laughs> but gotcha. I will. I will be there imminently. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think, just so you guys know. Uh, all right, y'all. All right, uh, look. Hamlin's waking up. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, crazy story. I was just going for a stroll, stretching my legs because I couldn't sleep. You know, nothing nefarious at all. And I slipped off the cliff and right into a uh, prison cell. It's it was crazy. The door was open. I like hit the back of the cell. <laughs> the door closed. It was it was yeah, nuts. We, yeah, we have we have yeah. one question for you, Hamlin. What one? I would, like to, I would like to roll for deception before you ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, knowing that he gets disadvantage on rolls and the fact that we all saw the tracks, and I, I think I hit a twenty, so I pretty much saw him like like Paul Atreides do this thing. I uh, shall roll anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so Hamlin, this we're mentioning uh, that they they found your water canteen. Oh, well, uh, it was it was a it oh was a you one. really failed, dude. <laughs> it's a critical you, fail. Nobody's buying. <laughs> In fact, we're thinking about putting you back in the jail. <laughs> Hamlin, <laughs> how stupid do you think we are? Also, how <laughs> stupid are you? Is that a rhetorical question? Uh huh. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't believe him, but he also he can't roll a one. Oh, that's true. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! He's so drugged that's up true. he forgot. Um. Okay, I'll roll one more. It won't matter. Because my other one was a... Okay. It's not that good. Should we tell him that we saw the track? <laughs> and that we know that he's lying? Or should we let him have it? No. Uh, we know what you did, Hamlin. You're an idiot. Don't do that again. <laughs> I get in his face and I say, you endangered us all. <laughs> The next uh, time I have, you do that, we will leave you there. I have a question for the group, and I have a question for the DM. DM, do we see anybody who could, like, potentially spot us? 
do we need to be worried about taking cover? Yeah, we just killed some lizards, right? And uh, we were following some people. Did we make um, did we make a bunch of noise with that? Uh, well, not necessarily. Um, no, it doesn't seem from what you can see from here that anybody's at high alert or anything. Um, mm -hmm. Fantastic. And didn't we... I thought that we killed all those... Um, all those... Uh, what do you call it? Bullywugs. What, before we left for the boats. Is that not the case? You did kill some. Yes. There are just many more up ahead. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we didn't kill any bullywugs here on this island. Um, uh, all right. Well, uh, you said that we do see some bullywugs somewhere? Yeah. Uh, to the east. Um, you know, um, towards the castle area in front of the, uh, in front of the castle, uh, you, you can see activity of frog-like and, and lizard folk. Do these gotcha. uh, bully, do, the, do these bullywugs happen to have incredibly large egos? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that, 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 that's an inside Do joke it. from our last campaign. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. Um, Question for the group. I am open to ideas about how to proceed. However, I have found myself once again uh, almost completely devoid of spell slots, so I would not be mad. Oh, do we get those back if we level up? No, unfortunately no. not. No. All right. Would you would you want to take a rest? Is that what you're thinking? No. If, I, uh, I would if... like to just say, don't worry. I'm a caster now. <laughs> okay. Good. I shall be the wizard. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Man, that's not my. Old, it's not like that's my only skill. You know. Well, I feel. I, I feel one spells. point. I feel one point smarter even. <laughs> I, uh, I think we should. I think we should journey on for eight more minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's at least journey on for eight more minutes. I will turn myself invisible and do some scouting. All right, you are invisible. That's my last so, spell, y'all. And that lasts for one hour, right? Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm gonna uh, really quick. I'm gonna spend my last um, uh, six points to, oh, unless I get more uh, from from uh, doing that from leveling up to uh, lay on hands on myself. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and right. cast on yourself there. Okay. So there's nothing, there's like a little path here down by our right. There's nothing there. Um, what makes you say that? Uh, all right, well, I guess <laughs> I'm going to walk over there then. Hey, why can't I walk? Ah, some shit happened. All right. Uh, Nate, if you can reshare the map, I don't know if you if you shared a fixed map or even the original map. I don't I don't seem to have it right now. Oh yeah, it did kick you off. I just shared it again. Thanks. All right, I take a look down here and see what's what. Oh shit, there's a lot of there's stuff over here. Yeah. So as you approach this area, um, you can see that the fence uh, that you had uh, seen from afar is actually, uh, it's got really crude uh, kind of spikes made out of reed um, sticking out from it. Um, it's very, um, how to say, it's very shabby looking the way that it's built. Uh, on the inside uh, are just uh, a, a ton of giant lizards. Um, it doesn't look like anything is here to tend to them. Uh, they're... Uh, some of them have uh, saddles on them. Others have big, large packs uh, on them. So it appears as though they're being used to possibly uh, move things through the swamp or even as mounts to uh, travel through the swamp quicker or easier. As I see. So I'm basically seeing like a pen here. Yes. That's got like a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of those big old lizards that you ride. Yeah, there are there are roughly about twenty four of them in here. Um, mm -hmm. They look not very nice. Uh, they're kind of fighting each other, and um, uh, they look aggressive. Uh, of course, they don't notice you, uh, but they are kind of fighting amongst each other, and they 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 don't seem very tame. All right, I'm gonna walk over here now. Are you walking in the pen? Uh, he walked uh, yeah. back out of another exit. He did walk in the pen, though, a little bit. Um, now, when you step into this area, you can see these are um, uh, they're longhouses. They're made of reeds uh, bound into long, thick bundles and bent into upside-down U-shaped ribs. Uh, the spaces between the ribs are uh, uh, 
thatched with more reeds, and each longhouse has a single woven door in the center of one of the end walls. Um, and uh, it it's actually looks crude, but well-engineered. Um, you do notice that there are, in the center of these, um, these longhouses, uh, the three that are here, there are a few lizard folk uh, in the middle that got a campfire going, and uh, it looks as if they're resting. Okay. I am going to travel. Where to next? And you can see, by the way, uh, should, another thing worth mentioning here is to the far east beyond these houses is a moat, and you can see a, a tower, you know, round shape area of the castle there on the other mm -hmm. side of the moat. Okay. I'm going to go over here and take a look at this. And just in case nobody else knows, you can click Krabic and you can kind of see what he sees if you just kind of want to be nosy and see what he sees. Um, if you click his icon, you can see what he sees. A little really? look to a tower. Yes, that's uh, you. Now you're in between. You're you're standing actually very close to where the um, uh, right to the southwest of you is where the uh, five lizard folk are kind of cooking something over a fire. Um, and just sitting on the ground around the fire. Uh, you can also see um, uh, you can also see into these uh, longhouses a little bit. It looks like this is sleeping grounds for lizard folk. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna head back to where my friends are. How much time has passed? Uh, we'll say that was about uh, with that walking distance. That was about forty minutes by the time you return. Forty minutes. Yeah, that's a pretty, right. pretty long walk. All right, everybody. The path to the south, um, not great. So what are we doing here? Uh, what? Why? What? <laughs> We're going to try to get castle? into the castle. Remember our primary mission? To get into a castle? <laughs> we no. got to stop Tiamat, and we believe that the, the, the people that are trying to bring her back are doing something here. Whatever happened to that warehouse that we were going to go to? We, we've we been through the warehouse, man. Oh, boy. You were asleep the whole time. <laughs> Was that, didn't, 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 it go on, didn't we catch it on fire? The treasure room. Yeah. We're, so you know all those yeah. really expensive <laughs> right. things? Um, Was that in oh, the ketchup? Yeah. Was that in the... Was that in the... Yeah, I, we briefly we mentioned going through okay. the warehouse in the ketchup. Okay. Yeah, we purposefully left out the part where we burned all the gold and jewels because we knew that it would upset you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. All right. Well, with the last... I, uh, I, tell the, I turn to Hamlin and I go, I want you to know it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, use... say we are not them. <laughs> 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 I'm going to use the last 20 minutes of my invisibility to walk into this little brushy area over here. All right. And and you're going to use the brushes cover, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now to your north, um, you can see these are the, uh, the kind of huts that are made out of mud and things like that. Uh, now that you're closer, you can see that there's a lot of them. Um, about a dozen or more, and they're just kind of placed half ha haphazardly uh, on the boggy ground. Um they're shaped like a flattened dome. Um, the doorways are open, um, but a low, short tunnel forces creatures to crawl into the hut. They're made of reeds woven through a lattice mixed with a lot of a generous amount of mud and grass and even uh, looks like dung smeared over the entire thing. Uh, mud, swamp water, and muck slops between the huts and even flows in and out of the low, open doorways. And you can see that inside is just piles uh, of each hut is just piles of um, bullywugs. It looks like they just they have no sense of personal uh, or, or or bubble space, and they just pile in to sleep uh, into these huts. Mm. So, so speaking of dung, uh, I need to go to this dinner. Unfortunately, okay, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna be on auto follow. Uh, there's a small chance I. I make it back tonight, but if not, I'll see you guys next week. All right, man. Enjoy New Orleans, man. New Orleans, yeah, as they call it. See you, dude. 
you guys. All right. Um, oh, I guess I should continue. Uh, also, to <laughs> your uh, to your east is a couple more longhouses. That was the L shape that you'd seen from afar. Um, uh, you know, same kind of description as before. You know, the U-shaped rib uh, built. Um, and beyond that, um, to your uh, southeast, you can see a doorway. It looks like the main gate to the castle. Um, uh, big stout wooden gates uh, with uh, uh, about 12 foot wide, 10 foot high uh, gateway. Um, but they're, it looks really old. Uh, they're, the, they're kind of sagging on their hinges. Um, and that's what you see. Do I see any people guarding this doorway? Uh, there's some lizard folk, um, kind of, I guess you could call it guarding. They're, they're gathered there at the very least, but everything looks super relaxed. It, it, it appears as though... From just looking around the field area, is that this castle so far deep into the swamp? They actually, it just doesn't look very well fortified. Mm. Okay, well, I am going to. If I leave my cover and go back to my friends, is am I going to be seen by anybody? Mm, it's possible, um, because you're you've lost your uh, during the travel up here. Um, You've lost your invisibility, um, but mm -hmm. it once again, I mean, there's a little bit of activity of bullywogs, um, you know, maybe coming down, but there's a very high chance you could slip back down to them unnoticed. All right, I will do this, and I'm going to use my uh, uh, minor illusion trick to try to try to hide my presence as I as I move. All right, you make it back with no trouble. All right, all right, I'll let everybody know what I saw. And I'm like, there seems to be an entrance to the southeast that would not be difficult to uh, break into. Uh, they know people are not on high alert. This does not seem to be. I think they think the swamp is enough to protect the castle. So I'm down for taking a little rest and then fucking taking a crack at that door. You know, maybe when we wake up, someone else wants to be invisible, and uh, you know. Someone else can try try looking around. Remind us, Nate, th there was no immediate time pressure we were under. Like the caravan wasn't like right on our tail tail or anything like that. So no, the caravan passed us. Yeah, it seems like the caravan. Right. Remember, it's kind of stopped at the warehouse and they unloaded. Uh -huh. And uh, as far as you can tell, because if you guys remember, the lizard folk were grabbing the. They were coming to grab the treasure from that uh, guarded locked room uh, through the secret crate entryway that went down to the tunnel and out into the swamp so um it, it would appear as though the caravan's journey is over okay cool so yeah i'm also down for a rest we we deserve it get our spell <laughs> feel feel fully rested and uh see if an old friend joins us in the middle of the night <laughs> 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 no i don't know where are you guys Surprise. where are you guys gonna try to lay out your bed rolls or what have you uh, What's that? You're asking us where we want to put him down? Yeah. I will roll a uh, survival to see um, yeah. if I can find like a good... Uh... I would like to put mine directly on top of Lenora's. <laughs> <laughs> Extra cushion. Uh -huh. I don't see anything of value. Yeah, the only thing you notice is, like, you guys are standing on a road of some sort. I mean, it's a little beaten down, and, but it is definitely the pathway um, up to the castle, so would definitely be smarter to slip off into the swamp, uh, you know, brushy areas uh, to the south would, is obviously probably the better spot. Uh, so, yeah, let's, someone let's with survival that. try to, like, maybe uh, find something about the swamp that can hide us, or at least keep the muck off of us or oh, something. I, I got I got a decent survival. Here we go. I'd like to be rolling whatever you want me to roll um, to keep the swamp muck off of my new shoes. Yeah, Balasar finds you guys a really nice spot. I'm going to move them to where that would be, right in here. Uh, it's a little bit up off the nasty, muddy, disgusting ground, and it's covered enough um, to where you don't feel like anybody would probably notice you. 
and I moved him to that location. I can just move everybody um, there. We can rest here. All right, let me um, give everybody a long rest, unless there's more you guys want to do. No, great. I was going to say uh, we should assign want, uh, watch, but uh, yeah. if uh, if no one needs to do watch, then great. All right, I have gotten everybody long rested. All right, there we go. Uh, so you wake in the morning, and um, um, nothing uh, from from your from your point of view, at least, nothing has uh, particularly changed. Um, I think I still want to close the map. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Um, so, yep, whatever you guys want to do now. You got your spells back. What's your plan, buddy? Yeah, well, let's let us approach the castle. No, my my plan is is done. I got my spells back. <laughs> I think we're accomplished. Yeah, we want to get into the castle and uh, find a way in to to create mischief. Yeah, head back, head back to where we were and check out the current scene at whatever time of day it is, and then see if there's a path in. Maybe. Head, headed by our uh, thiefy thief. All right. Our... Point blank. Who's in this castle? You guys just think that there's cultists in the castle? That's what cultists, we're doing? Yeah. What we mean, think too? that the the loot that they are using to do the ritual is in this castle. So that we assume that the ritual is going to happen loot, in this castle or something. you say. <laughs> uh, Actually, yes. I believe... I believe we're. I believe we think that this castle, because there's a castle in the sky that we're trying to get to, but it's not this castle. But we believe that this is at least a marker to that, and that I think possibly the the, the loot is there, and perhaps this is where the ritual is done. Say yeah. no more. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right. You want to do some sneaky, sneaky? Try to get us into this castle. I can certainly do some sneaky, sneaky. Um, Right, I'm gonna trail him a little bit. How tall like, is this, the uh, brush how, tall, how tall is the walls, and are there any windows the size of people? Uh, the you, the castle is very tall. Uh, it's several stories tall. Um, on the bottom floor, um, the only entry uh, that you see besides that main gate is far to the east. Um, there are some windows. I'm going to actually just draw them on the map where you see them at. That would be the easiest. So window here, 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 and here. Now those are across the moat. Um, fast flowing uh, deep water. Okay. And then All right, uh, this arrow is the main gate. Okay, I can't really see the castle because of the the shadows, but does I'm it show going... my drawing? Yes, I can okay, see the okay, drawing, okay. but I assume it's like uh, some sort of like big section of castle comes out. Well, whatever. I, I kind it of actually it. goes in. Uh, so there's the uh, main gate area, and then it's um, uh, uh, you know it has like a bridge. It goes across the moat there for that area. And then it's actually uh, kind of like an indent into the castle over okay. to where those areas are. And is the main gate like populated with in and incoming and outgoing traffic, or is this like completely? There's some lizard folk. Um, okay. They don't look like they're like you know they don't look like they're in a position of standing guard, but they're there. Okay. Okay. But they're not okay. like holding a spear and like standing right in front of the gate or anything. It looks like they're okay. just kind of hanging out. I'm kind of like, you know, crouching, hidden. I kind of whisper to Krabic, uh, what's the, uh, what's the plan here? Like, are we, are we going to try to scale a wall? Or are we going to try to pretend to be lizard folk or what's going on? That's, uh, that's the big old question. 
<laughs> you know, man. Can I, wait, can I? Can you describe again how many lizard folk are there, and are they just like all along the wall, or are they like bunched up? Yeah, there's just uh, there's five of them. Um, they're at the um, they're at the gate at the entrance. Um, to the to the northeast of the gate, though, is like a a couple longhouses where there's a bunch of them. Uh, most of them inside asleep, etc. But there's a gathering there of them. That looks like it's like living quarters. And they're blocking the entrance. Uh, the five, sorta. I mean, they're they're not like necessarily even at the entrance. They're just on the bridge, uh, on the other side of the bridge, and there's one standing um, at the gate itself. But once again, he's there. None of them are in poses of guarding. Can I see any of them on the ramparts, like standing on the walls themselves? No, you don't see anything. Okay. You, you also don't notice anything like arrow. You know, slits for uh, nothing like that. Okay. So, listen, I, Kravik, I am going to suggest, feel free to, oh, whoever else is standing here too, Troenik. <laughs> uh I love your input as well. But... <laughs> the player who's not here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, I think that maybe we go uh, far from the main gate and try to... Uh, uh, find a, a, a narrow uh, narrow moat crossings and you know I can try to scramble up into a window and drop a rope down or something I like that plan that way we get to explore you know without having to converse with lizard folks yeah. that works for me alright sure. are we doing sneaky sneaky yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Shall we gather the group and, like, have them stand by? Maybe give them a bird signal to tell them when they need to come for the rope? Yes, that sounds great. We great. have many ways of communicating with the group. Oh, yeah. Can we get to, like, generally, like, this area safely, uh, Nathan? Yeah, you would pass by some lizard folk on your way up, um, because right there in those houses, uh, you'd you'd pass right by them. Um, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, but those that's are about houses. It. I thought I thought those were rocks. Okay. Um, okay, I want to take a path that's kind of like through these reeds and between the houses up to like this coastline, and I want to do it as stealthily as possible. Sure. Roll me a stealth check, real quick. Am I still doing disadvantage after I slept? Uh, for now, yes. <laughs> okay, even after that rest. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you rested. I'm sorry, I forgot. No, you're good, you're good. Oh, okay. I will then not... You take drugs, then. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> okay. Sorry, real quick, I gotta roll my, uh, my divinity rolls. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and... Do it, but yeah. So yeah, I, it wasn't as stealthy roll. as you had pictured in your mind. However, uh, you did a couple of folk even looked your way, um, and they just seemed to just continue back with what they were doing. Okay. All right. So uh, now that you're that was weird. Now that you're here, uh, right across from you, actually. Uh, you kind of landed in the perfect spot, it appears, because right there to your east and just a tiny bit south is a window. Um, and it's it's not as far of a swim across the moat there. Uh, it's uh, You could almost possibly jump uh, to the window from the land. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to send a message back to Krabbe, but Krabbe can be like, Yo, these lizard folks don't even care. Um also, do you have that jump spell that I read about in a book one? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have that spell prepared, unfortunately. Poo. Um, all right. Well, let's get an ath let's, let's get an athletic um, person over here to maybe jump and throw us a rope. Oh. Nobody has nobody has pass without a trace either, huh? I don't. I, I definitely don't. All right. Well, sneak, but sneak confidently, like you know where you're going. 
I mean, I have athletics, but I don't know what's going on or what's being said. So, yeah, does everyone want to message the group? Just let them yeah. know what's happening. Basically, I tell well, I tell Kravik, gather, gather everyone, bring them, bring them. <laughs> bring us where? Which one? Where? Where you are or where he is? <laughs> Kravik saw where I went, right? Yeah, but is that safe for people? To, I mean, I know that the lizards don't seem to be. Don't seem to care that we're here, but at the same time, like I don't know if bringing the whole party there is uh, is is that not precarious? Okay, I hear you loud and clear, and I would like to now jump to the uh, thing myself. I'll be like, I'll let you know if it's safe or not in just a second. Okay, um, um, so right here is the closest area you can probably see in the room a bit there. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, so before you do the jump, I want to describe what you see uh, through the window. Um, it looks like a wet and moldy room. Uh, not flooded, just, um, you know, like some mud is built up in there. Um, and that's really all all you see in there. You can tell that there is a, a staircase, uh, and that's about all you, you notice. Staircase up or down? Uh, up. I would like to jump. All right, uh, roll me in athletics. It's not too far of a jump, by the way. It feels, you feel pretty confident. All right, you make the jump. I'm going to go ahead and place you inside. Um, so you hop into the room and slap down into some uh, thick mud. Uh, it is a wooden floor, but it's just completely covered in muck and, and goo. Um, just uh, where the, uh, you know, probably this moat, um, you know, depending on rain and things, probably every once in a while it floods in here a bit. Um, however, uh, once you're inside, uh, you, you immediately notice the skittering and scuttering sounds of something. Give me one oh, second great. here. String A. Skittering and scuttering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You really hear both at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, sort of a skitter, it's a skitter followed by a scutter. <laughs> All right, followed by a scutter, and then maybe a couple more skitters overlapped by another scutter. Oh, dang it, I always do that one second. Nathan, while you're doing this, I, I turn to the group, and this includes everyone that is here, Tronic and Balasar and uh, and uh, Lenora. Uh, I know we're all sort of spread out, but I'm using message mm-hmm. uh, to let everybody know what's up, and I'm also going to say, you know, I feel bad being the only one who gets to be invisible and check things out. So if anybody else wants to get invisible and check things out, you just let me know. That's downright Hang sweet. On. All right, let me make these visible for you. So, um, uh, some giant centipedes begin falling from the ceiling. Uh, you oh s- no! You see five of them hit the ground, um, uh, disturbed by your presence and the noise that you made. Um, all right, and. All right, everybody roll initiative, even though everybody's not here, just so we know the turn order of uh, of everybody. <laughs> okay. It's only one. Only only Hamlin is there, right? Yes. Yes, and and technically, probably I'm the only one who is aware I'm being attacked. <laughs> of danger. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, it's too bad I'm not there, because I'd be right ready to go <laughs> if I was. All right. I apparently jumped in and was just kind of uh, not expecting anything bad to happen because <laughs> I wasn't that ready. <laughs> uh, so, Lenora, uh, it is your turn. But I'm okay. It's but my you're turn. not aware I, of any date. Yeah, not yeah. aware, but we're still going to just All go right, through I, the turns. I, I, uh, Scratch yeah, my butt and cough. I, cartoo- <laughs> I cartoon like cut my hand to my ear and listen uh, intently in Hamlin's direction. 
Now, Lenora, I'm going to assume that you didn't stay back at the camp, right? Because that's where your token's at. I'm going to assume you're at least up with Krabic. Oh, I still don't have proper map access. So oh, you don't? Me okay, okay, yeah, I'm going to move them up here with Krabic and the others. Thanks. And Balasar, did you also intend earlier when um, Krabic asked you to come up there, I'm assuming you went with him as well? Is Balasar right. there? Balasar? You there, buddy? Mute monster might have got him. <laughs> he's he's muted. Vanda, you muted, buddy. They're all muted. <laughs> <laughs> I assume he is there. Okay, I'm gonna move him there. All right. Um. There we go. He just rolled initiative. Uh, and uh, all right, Hamlin, it's your turn. Uh, sorry, I'm having issues uh, on uh, ho uh, hotel Wi-Fi. So. Oh, that's understandable. Oh man, that's the worst. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, but don't worry, Balasar, as usual, is going way last, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I actually am going to. I guess check my spells because I don't remember exactly what I have. Um, it, okay, can you describe the room now that I'm in it? Like, is there pathways? Is there doorways? Is there anywhere else to retreat to? Yeah, uh, so uh, there's the stairs. You'd have to pass right through several of the centipedes, uh, but there is stairs there. And um, and is that to the north there? Yes. Like what I, I'm kind of seeing. Okay, and then there's a window to my south, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, there's a wall. Um I guess you wouldn't have technically seen that, but I couldn't. I couldn't tell until you're in here. Um, there's there's a wall separate, a little bit of a wall, part uh, partial wall separating the staircase uh, from from the area you're at. And there's another room beyond that, but because of the partial wall, you really can't see much. All right, screw it. Well, I'm level four. I'm feeling good, so I'm just gonna <laughs> pot, I'm gonna put put an arrow into one. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to move oh, okay. close to it. Okay. Uh, I want to. Um, just put an arrow into it from where I'm standing. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Great. Nice hit. hit. Ooh. Another great hit. Instant death. Yeah, you killed him. Uh, he, okay. falls, he falls to the ground with ease, um, and it is now Centipede 4's turn, um, rushes towards you. Oh, what about Tronic's turn? Oh, I'm sorry, it is Tronic's turn. Tronic um, burps, and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Tronic is uh, just still with Kravik, uh, uh, waiting for uh, what to do next, unaware of what's going on up ahead. Um, he keeps asking for beads for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tronic's in a swamp in real life as well. That's that's odd. Um, <laughs> so uh, hey everybody, just reiterating: if anybody wants to turn invisible, you just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Giant centipede four attacks uh, Hamlin. Who's got here? Uh, he bites at him. Hamlin had used his bonus action Misses. to let us know something. <laughs> I've got tricks up my sleeve. He wants to solo, I think. Uh, Centipede 3 I think he does. <laughs> rushes up to Hamlin and attempts to bite as well. Well, I did ask for the group to follow, but it was insinuated that that would be dangerous. That yeah, one it's, misses. It's, it's fine, do you, man? I'm just messing around. Centipede 5 uh, rushes, and uh, this one actually, with this tail, uh, kind of swings it around to stab at him, and... Let's see if this works correctly. All right, and it looks like it works. And does 11 damage and poisons oh, uh, no. Amelin. 
There's no um. There's no to hit action on that. Uh, that was a, you did a save. Yeah, you did a save for it. Yeah. No, I know, but it's not like a. It's not something you can dodge. No, not once. AC. Not not once. It's uh. Done that now. Okay. I only ask because I have a shield spell that can add five AC as a reaction. Oh yeah, this is only against if... Khan. Okay. Um. Ouch. <laughs> and whose turn is it now? It's Kravik's turn. Actually, can I do something? Sure. Oh. Can I roll mm. a persuasion check? I, I sent you a DM. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see it yet. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh, that so would be wait, epic. Yeah, it. absolutely. That was genius. Genius. I was waiting for a good moment. 24 persuasion. Whoa. All right. Good deal. <laughs> it works. Um, so uh, you guys may not be aware of exactly what happened, but Hamlin is aware suddenly mm -hmm. that there's a blinding flash of light uh, in the room, and suddenly behind of the uh, centipedes appears your old friend Fife. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm going to say <laughs> it's you. Thank you. I appreciate the lift. Uh, <laughs> what? And then I'm going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast Ooh. on Centipede. What was the one that got him? The, uh, north, centipede. One. the north one. Five. Yeah, five. Five. Okay. Uh, centipede five. I'm going to cast. Can, will you let me cast? Let me do it on the battle thing. Ugh. Centipede five. Go. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not great. It missed. <laughs> it missed. Uh, and as a bonus action, I am going to sing a little song for Hamlin and sing how much I missed him. <laughs> and how glad I am to be back <laughs> and give him a little bardic inspiration. All right. Wow, thanks. I haven't felt this good since last <laughs> time you sang for me. <laughs> You're welcome. That's right. <laughs> and then that's it. All right. And now it is Kravik's turn. Okay. So to sum up, you can walk around. You can look at things. <laughs> no one will see you. Um, you can't make noise because then people will, will figure out that you're an invisible person. But overall, there are a lot of benefits to being invisible and looking around. So, <laughs> any takers? That's a well, no. How about you? Spaces. It's antithetical to Lenore's uh, basic strategy. So I've been I using... Like I, I use Minor Illusion to create a, a, a short PowerPoint on... Turning invisible. <laughs> that pros and cons. It's uh, very convincing. Balasar Bal is imp is impressed and both uh, buys a timeshare and <laughs> uh, <laughs> and says like, oh, the benefits do outweigh the cost. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> so, are we aware that there's a battle? Because uh, Fife just cast something. Would I? Would would we know that there's a battle going? You guys wouldn't have seen the flash of light through the window because of the positioning of the longhouses. I would have blocked that window from your all's vantage point. And okay. her, her spell is really more of like a wisp of mist gotcha. than a big flash. Yeah, the flash Wait, would have been her teleport, you? but you guys wouldn't have it. noticed that. What an interesting gotcha. misnomer called Eldritch Blast. Yeah, true. Um, oh, Fife isn't here. That's why. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I can I can send y'all a message on my next turn. Just <laughs> okay. <tight>. That's <laughs> fine. So, Ballas, I mean, I want. Yeah, I want your. I, I'll say okay. I'm sold. Uh, make me invisible. <laughs> it, worked, it worked for the. It worked for the warehouse. Let's do it again. True. I said, Krabic, you're going to make him invisible, right? Oh, I didn't realize I could move because I thought we were doing an <laughs> initiative. Yeah, it's your turn. You already did initiative. It's your turn, buddy. Oh, well, in that case, I turn Balasar invisible. All right. And Balasar, it's now your turn. 
You didn't technically have to wait for consent. You can just touch someone and. Oh, that's invisible. true. That is true. Yeah, but Yay. I believe in consent. Advocating <laughs> for no consent. <laughs> All right. In casting uh, cool, cool spells on people. Invisible. Now it's like. All right, let's make our way, right, to the yeah, castle. I, I, so. At this point, are we all making our way? Is that safe to assume? Is that I, I think so because you guys would have you guys saw Hamlin go that way, right? So I would okay. assume you guys would be traveling that way, regardless of maybe not knowing what's going on. You would still know that's where Hamlin went, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll definitely go ahead. I mean, I don't know if like. Everyone else would agree that we wouldn't wait for a signal or something, but now that I'm invisible, I would. I, I would. <laughs> and what about no, you, Crabby? Did it. you want to use movement as well? Oh, who, me? Yeah. No, no, I'm fine hanging okay. out where I am. All right. And it is now Lenora's turn. Okay. Uh, am I Am I there? Is my turn getting there? What? How? I, I yeah, you're with the you're with Krabic and Tronic. Um, you guys are kind of in a brush area there, um, pretty close to the gate. Um, but of course, uh, you all know that Hamel went uh, more to the northeast. Uh, Balsar's already started in that direction. All right, I I guess I I head where Balsar is, but not so directly that I'm just walking behind an invisible person, thus ruining the point of him being invisible. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm you know. I'm I'm generally heading in that direction, but uh, uh, I guess using whatever limited stealth abilities I have. Mm. Uh, it would be great if you were walking behind an invisible Balasar and someone shot an arrow at you and hit Balasar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm keeping that in the back of my mind as a possibility, and I won't be too upset about it. But uh, yeah, I'm walking again. I can't I can't see a map, but that's <laughs> that's that's how stealthy I am. Oof. So. I'm actually, I'm actually imagining like, uh, you know, we can like um, hustle people at like a underground boxing ring or something. Or like <laughs> put the gnome in the ring, but have an invisible paladin taking all the blows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you're onto something there. Sounds like a money racket. Like you could uh, win some bets or something. Uh, Hamon, it is now your turn. Uh, one second. Okay, it's my turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was just walking around the house on my phone. I'm out of breath. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to, I guess, um, in shock, be like, Fife, what the fuck? Where did you right. come from? Well, right? Hang on. <laughs> Let me kill these bugs real quick. Then we'll talk. Please do. And then I'm going to, actually, you know what? I'm going to stab the one that didn't poison me. Okay. Who knows? Maybe they have one-time use stingers. <laughs> That's usually how it works. That's pretty smart, yeah. Says the DM who's looking at the one-time <laughs> use stinger on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, no, not the bow. Oops. Uh, I broke my fucking repair. Shit. Yep. Mm. I stuck oh, it in yeah, a gi- the giant. I just, rem- I just remember that I stuck my sword in a giant's foot and never got it back. Actually, I believe I broke it. Yeah, he oh, was yeah. trying to get it out and he <laughs> critically failed. What's, yeah. What's the disadvantage <clears throat> of a of a point blank um, bow? Is it is there a disadvantage? No, there's not. Not not in fifth edition anyway. Okay, I will then point blank this. It'd be hilarious to do it bug in real life. with a bow. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Dang! Oh, no okay. disadvantage. Like there was a strong advantage. I mean, to... that would hurt really bad. I mean, you gotta admit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like. I'm gonna be like. I mean, honestly, you could just stab it in his face with your hand. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Fife, watch this, and just line it up directly uh, in between its little bug eyes, and shoot an arrow directly through its like mandibles. Woo-hoo! All right, all right. How let's see. Works. All right. Instant it, death. Yeah, it explodes. I wanted to, but I wanted to like split down the middle like a butterfly shrimp. 
Yeah, it, it it rips, it rips, and you can uh, the vertebrae. You can hear it crackling as uh, as the arrow just rips right through it. Um, bug parts fly Ooh. all around the room, and he is dead. Uh, and then I send a quick message out to uh, Krabek, who I know has can relay messages that says, "Holy shit! Bring the team." Uh, the <laughs> The the uh, the bard is in here. All right, I'll have to wait for my turn though. <laughs> Tronic is uh, going to go ahead and follow uh, behind Lenora on his turn, and um, it is now Centipede Four's turn. It is going to attack Hamlin, who it's already on with a bite. Okay, as a reaction, okay, I would like to cast shield and add five AC to myself if that's still a hit. Okay, one second. My AC with five added is 21. Damn. So no, that would be a miss. Dope. All right. So, <laughs> so I like throw up some magical barrier and it like, blah, like bites into the magic. Is it just for the one attack? Is that how it works? That is how it works. It's only okay. a react. It's on reaction only, and it's a. Uh, that's it. That's all I can do. All right. Uh, the other centipede is going to bite at you as well. That's a hit. Oh man! <laughs> Use my reaction already. Oh, oops! I oh, wrote the wrong thing. Can I, can I? Can I use my react? Wait, does your shield stay up for the whole time? Uh, no, it's it's literally just counters one move as a reaction. Hold on, wait, it. wait, wait. Can I use my reaction to cutting words? Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. It it actually does. It says an invisible barrier, magical force appears, protects you until the start of your next turn. You have five bonus. There you so, go. Yeah, actually. So okay, I what, might have. What did it make your AC again? Was it twenty one? Twenty one. Yeah. Okay, so if he has a twenty one. I will cutting words him on that 22, uh, and I will roll a one. What is my what is my bardic inspiration? It's a 1d6. So I'll run a roll a 1d6. Okay. All right. So he actually only does whatever 20. He does 17, and it doesn't hit. Yeah, that's right. And I right. say, you big stupid ugly motherfucker! You look like a penis. <laughs> With lots of legs. With lots of legs. It's real weird. All right, um, that works, and so it does not hit Hamlin, uh, and is now five turn. Okay, uh, I will cast. I'm gonna go for another Eldritch Blast uh, on the on the one that I already was targeting. Okay. Okay, it's still up. Let's see if I can actually hit it this time. That's it. Hit. hit. Okay. Damage one d ten. All right. Well, he took two points of damage, an incredibly good amount. <laughs> and it is back to Kravik. Hey, everybody! I, you're all moving towards Hamlin. That's good. He's being attacked. <laughs> no, I actually didn't say that. I just said the bard was there. Oh, uh, he's being attacked by the bard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's my speed again? <laughs> Back by Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, twenty-five. Um, Your speed is twenty-five. Capital B Bard. My speed is twenty-five. Yes. All right. So that means I can go all the way to. Yep. Oh no, my thing just froze. There it went. All right. You All can right. also dash, right? As a bonus? Yeah. What's the dash? Half of the Half regular of speed? Yeah. All right. Well, now I'm here. All right. And it's your turn, Balasar. Um, so he's... Okay, we know he's under attack. And dashing... Wait, dashing is... is we actually don't know. We just know that uh, Fife is with him. Which would be... I think oh. that would be... You guys would be excited. I think that's worth, worth running towards. Some dashing, yeah. 
Okay, so I'll dash. It's it's half again, or it's double your movement speed. Half. So you get uh, what do you have? Thirty, I think, and then so you actually yeah. have forty-five. Yeah. Okay. Here is forty-five. All right, and it is Lenora's turn. Dash as well. Okay. And I, I have my arm slightly in front of me in case I run into an invisible dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Just bracing myself. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you can't move. I was can't, waiting for your move. action. Uh, so <laughs> here. Uh, and uh, Lenora, uh, you're not invisible. And as you pass through this area, um, to your uh, right, there is the longhouses, uh, the little... Um, kind of hut things built by the lizard folk and uh they're actually they walk out to watch you they're literally just walk watching you walk by <laughs> yeah 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 i um i shout uh the housekeeping <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wait actually i have a question about dash are you is it it's not double Movement speed? I thought it was a half. It may be double. Is it? Half? I, I thought it, it was... Why would, why would dashing move you at half speed? No, no I mean... I, I mean 1.5, yeah. 150% yeah. versus 200%. Oh, for, a, for a thief, it's definitely double. Maybe it's not for everyone else. I don't know. I have something called Expeditious Retreat, which gives me, like, dash on a bonus action, and it says, like, moving double speed or something, but that might be something different. I don't well, know. a thief can always use its bonus action to dash. Yeah. Um, yeah, or hide. What? Yeah. Um, so do I have a stupid spell? <laughs> Potentially. Up to you. Actually, <laughs> he is right. In 5th edition, if you, do a, if you do a dash, you do get double. Um, Hells yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move everybody up All just right. a little bit further here. Mm -hmm. Use the dash. Kravik. Alasar wins the race. Mm. It's like Bowser. Mander, when it, like... Whenever you say your name, Balasar, it sounds like a Pokemon. Balasar. <laughs> I hear Balasar. Balasar. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> it really does. That's a good point. It is now uh, Hamlin's turn. Okay. Well, I just realized I have a spell that literally just gives me my innate thief ability. So mm -hmm. we'll talk later about maybe if I can swap that out now that I realize that. But in the moment, I will just Wait, shoot can I this. Can I, is there, did I use my bonus action in my last one? Mm -hmm. Can I retrograde something if I didn't use my bonus action? Retrograde? What, what do you want to do? Retcon. I just want to throw in my rapier. I don't need it. Oh, you want to give it to Hamlin? Yeah. Uh, one yeah. second. I'll try. No, she went, she went in the trash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah straight into Hamlin. the car. I want him to look at me as I throw it. <laughs> Hamlin, Hamlin, watch. You need this? Yeah. You need we, this right here? We aren't using uh, these anymore? Okay. <laughs> it seems like you threw yours away, so... So yeah, if I can, uh, if I can use retcon to use my bonus action to throw the yeah. rapier, because that was what I was gonna do. I'm down anyway. with that. I'm gonna add it into his inventory now. I've got to find it in the items here. All right, would, here you go. Will, it is in I'll, your inventory I'll, now. I will, I will volunteer to roll something to see if I catch it. No, you catch it. You're... You guys are really close to each other. Um, wow. so okay. We've gotten really close <laughs> as friends. <laughs> we have a patter. <laughs> so, you know, Ricky as DM would not miss an opportunity to have you roll. To and... have it fly right out of the window into the room. <laughs> into the moat. Uh, <laughs> Let's so be you... realistic. Ricky is Old Testament God, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan is, is New is Testament. The gospel. <laughs> it's, it's, it is funny that a vengeful God like truly... <laughs> like tries to use every advantage while being DM. <laughs> uh, so you have a repair in your inventory now. I dropped it. All in. right, I stab him in the face with it. All right. 
Oh, oh shit! Wait, you missed. can't do that though. Oh, oh yeah, true, true. <laughs> My God, I Your never knew that. Come in handy a lot. You are mm -hmm. really. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. See? Nice. A lucky little halfling. That's a hard. That is a hard feat to beat. I mean, until you get a two. Yeah. <laughs> no. Instant death. From a from a guaranteed miss to a, a guaranteed kill or or kill. That's uh, that's a pretty nice. I, I would like to skewer it and then like you know pick it up and like uh, do like a little mime action like and pretend like I'm eating corn like. <laughs> I'm gonna clap terrifyingly like it's hilarious like, like you're eating corn. wonderful. <laughs> we're all we're all just video game caricatures here. You, you've become Wario. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been flanderized. Yeah, since I've been I, want, I want the gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. All right, so uh, Tronic, because he's an NPC tonight, he's just going to keep following the group. Um, and uh, it is Centipede Five's turn. It is. Uh, give me a second. I want to see something. Yeah. Okay. So it actually spins. Um, so uh, to and starts as if it's going to go towards uh, Fife, but that gives Hamon a um, uh, an attack of opportunity. Ha ha! Hmm. Oh, getcha, uh, Nathan. What is his poison doing to us? It should be doing it automatically. Um, oh, am I poisoned? Poison yeah, is weird. not poison is not damage over time. In um, 5e, it's like something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look it's, it up. It's, it's I'll look it up while you're going. Else. <clears throat> it, it might have something to do with my ability to attack, so I would probably look it up first. Yeah, let me see. But we can't retcon my sweet skewer move. Your sweet so. death, yeah. <laughs> Probably is doing it automatically, though. All right. <clears throat> I mean, you po have to check. Po poisoned is poisoned? teacher. Uh, a creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh my god. So, All right, so I'll take I'll take a disadvantage on this. Yeah. It's only for one minute, so it would have passed. We're just gonna do it this rolls since we didn't do it on the other. So it's only this one time. You still hit, yeah. You <laughs> yep, still hit. There you go. And you're no longer poisoned. It's a short poison effect on that. It's a mucus-based <laughs> poison. All right, death. Uh, it falls to the ground and, and dies before it can, uh, as it's spinning, uh, to go towards uh, you. you um, stab your appear, and it and it kills it. Uh, so now the room is cleared of the disgusting uh, centipedes. There are a lot of their body parts lying around the room. Um, and... Um, I will move and it I, over. I, I, Go ahead. I immediately launch into a, what are you doing here, Fife? Where'd you come from? So many places. Uh, I was on a vacation, you know. Um, I, oh, I just I went was... on a vacation, too, and the whole group's mad at me for it. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you did something <laughs> worse than that. So, But mine was just, I left a note. I said, don't worry. I showed up right when you needed me. You no, know, I, I was really responsible about my vacation. Um, so I feel like that's probably why everybody's okay. Mm. Also, um, vacation. Okay. Nathan, I am taking off the 520 gold, and I only have 100 now, just so you know. Okay. How much did you say? Uh, 420. I have now only 100 gold in my... Okay, I got you fixed. Oh, I, yeah, I took it off, but yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pick them up, and I'm going to throw them in the air, and I'm going to juggle them a little bit. <laughs> uh, now, um, I want to mention something real quick. Um, uh, this room, uh, I don't know how the, the game wanted me to say this, um, but this this space you guys are in, uh, because of that, that kind of wall to the north, um, uh, kind of half wall, uh, this is an area that I am supposed to tell the players uh, would be a good um, uh, resting area 
Uh, <laughs> oh, good. I have no idea how it wants me to tell you that, but that's it. I am supposed to tell you that. If you wanted There's to a little take a break. On the ground. Yeah. And it, uh, when we walk into it, it lights up. Yeah, there is. Uh, a... And a big S. There's a big S above it's it. It's a big S yeah, kind so of rotating. It's, it's used, used tent? <laughs> yeah. so if you If you were to, uh, you know, breach the castle, and this is the first room you went in, just like I did, you would literally get into the castle in the first room you're in. You're like, man, this place is a great place for a nap. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Typically, well, if you wouldn't have went through the window, you would have went through some things. And, uh, but anyway. So, okay. What kind of the things? Castle is like, the castle itself is like, the boss is through this door. So... <laughs> yeah, and the Spirit yeah. of Elden Ring, that uh, that passageway in the north <laughs> has kind of got like a yellow kind of portal look to it. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> The shopkeeper with all these important uh, magical items is right outside this this fight. Yeah. Why is there why is there eighteen health potions just sitting here on the shelf next to this door? Uh, are you gonna take a song? Are you gonna take a, a rest, my dude? Uh, I mean, I just slept. I know I just got poisoned, but some people are engaged to somebody who wakes up and then almost immediately takes a nap before Mm. noon. Let's let everybody catch up now that we're at freeform move again, uh, where they want to be. If everybody just wants to move your character. Uh, Please move me uh, near my friends. Okay, so Nora, uh, could you roll me a... um, uh, You get to the window, could you roll me a... uh, Athletics check for jumping. I, I I do pop my head out and just be like, "Yo, guys, this wait. looks like a great place to rest." Oh, oh wait, did, did um did those those people just let Lenora walk by? Yeah, when I they just watched when her. I see, when I see them see me, I say, right, "Back to work." Enough lollygagging. <laughs> uh, athletics, you said. Yep. Okay, if that works, it works. Great. The spirit of uh, Barrick just takes over Lenora for a hot second. <laughs> All right, Lenora jumps across and makes it fine. Krabic, um he also jumps across, and makes it fine. Um, and I'm gonna roll for Tronic. Tronic, Tronic is swept away in the current. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Ooh, he had a good roll. Uh, Tronic makes it across. All right, and Balasar, do you? I'm assuming you want to do the same. I very much do. All right. I only stop there just to make the check. Did you roll for me or no? No, I didn't or roll for you. No, you roll. Okay. A strength check or athletics? Or athletics, strength? yes. Athletics. Yeah, you got it. All right. Oof. Good roll. Uh, you make it. You just like. You leap like over he Hamlin. Touch the win- yeah, he doesn't even touch the windowsill. He just <laughs> goes straight through. Yeah, and nobody even knows. Because the feels <laughs> <laughs> I feel a breeze, a breeze <laughs> fly past me. All right. You guys are all in the room. It's mucky. It's muddy. But uh, uh, somehow you get the bizarre sensation that this would be a great place to rest if you need it. I say hello, everybody. I'm back. I told you ah. I'd be back. Oh wait, I, I, I ask a really quick question. Did that was did the centipede put actual mucus on my shirt? <laughs> no, it was an actual stab, and it injected the mucus into you. Uh, oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got injected instead of like sluged on. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I hug everybody. I give everybody oh big hugs. I'm oh my so goodness excited gracious. to see you guys. I've what been happened gone. to you? What yeah, happened you to know. you? My curiosity. Lady, lady secrets. <laughs> lady secrets. You know I wink at Lenora like she knows, but she doesn't know. Yeah. Lenora, <laughs> Lenora, Lenora, Lenora oh. so long, but it's like, what? I don't know. It's got I, something I, to do with a period. Yeah, <laughs> I was on my period, you guys. Yeah. They actually make me go into the woods. Oh, God. All, all the men, all the men in the group ask no further questions. Lenora's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like bullshit. You know women always go to the woods together. <laughs> always go in the woods to get their periods and coming back with weird, strange new powers. Mm-hmm. Um, do I do I notice? Uh, 
do I notice that uh, Hamlin is poisoned by any chance? He is no longer poisoned. Uh, it was a very short oh, effect. Oh, great. All right, great. Never mind. I am nursing a hole in my arm, though. Yeah, yeah. Going, all right. Ow, ooh, uh, ow, ooh. <laughs> all right, I look around at the, the devastation, and I, I give him a little nod, like, well done, Hamlin, and then I, I lay hands on him. All right, go ahead and roll that for So that's me. how we do it now. Things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> they bonded mm-hmm. a bit. Yeah, we've grown. Uh, well, I respect his battle prowess, even though he almost got us all killed just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you did it three times? Well, I have a, I have a pool of 20 hit points uh, that I, five per, uh, five per level that I can uh, administer however I want. Yep. So, yep. Oh. Well, I was only missing 11, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly, so it I... spends exactly what you need until he gets, until mm-hmm. he finishes up his pool. Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right, so you guys are inside the castle, um, and uh, I have them all catch me up on what we're doing. I don't need that in in media res, but just assume Fife knows as much as she needs to know. Okay, um, yeah, guys, I think we should probably set set up this room as sort of our base of operations, and uh, you know, moving forward, like maybe if if shit goes bad, rendezvous in this uh, this little very restful looking room all right i'm good with that plan sure well um i say well i i am invisible still whoa who uh, said that <laughs> <laughs> you just thought a ghost was touching you the whole uh, time i i forget i forget and i'm like oh oh yeah cool so you can't really see me no, I, I sort of like technically it. casting the spell would have pulled you out of it, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's laying on hands a spell. Yeah. All right, that's fair. Then, then it pulled me out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then I just really grabbed you. <laughs> uh, and you didn't even see me. Great. Um. All right. Yeah. So we, you know, we can make a base of operations here. Um, I don't mind just like sneaking up there, t- poking uh, poking around at the top of the uh, the the thing here. You, okay. You guys want to? All right. T- I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a look and I'll come right back down. I mean, I Balistar shakes his head, and looks around, and is like, nah. I have no allies in this, so like, okay. Mm-mm, okay. <laughs> okay, with a 23 sneak. Yeah, you are completely I'm going, stealthed. Um, I'm going to poke my head around, kind of poke it on the other side of the stairs, look up the stairs, do all those sorts of things. Okay, so in this room, um, as you walk in, uh, for one thing, the puddles and the mud and gut kind of go away, um, but the smell, uh, the the kind of swampy smell is still in the room. Uh, You do notice that there is another entryway going to the right, and the stairs, now that you're at them, you see that um, it's actually, there's stairs going up, and then right below that, there are stairs going down. Um, mm. and that's okay. about it uh, I mean I, I think I want to just like very quickly poke in here just so to get a mental picture of okay and what's that door uh, so uh, there is a uh, you said door uh, oh, I don't a, know what it is okay so there is a door to the south uh, that is closed um, and you can see out some windows uh, there to the northeast um, going out looking out across the, the uh, mare um, or the mirror, uh, the swampy area, uh, and then in this room, um, the the floor is uh, made of stone. It's kind of sagging, uh, and it has a very moldy kind of stink to it. Um, and you can see across the stone where um, it's kind of broken apart, and it looks like someone has kind of laid out some planks across the floor uh, to walk in between the cracked areas um, and things like that, um, going towards the window. Mm. And tell me about the door. Is it locked, uh, or is there, is there like a bar or something locking from the inside, or no? What's up with that? Oh, no. 
I, I had you, to check that, it to see. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. It doesn't appear that it's uh It doesn't appear that it's locked. Just as a heads up to you, I got a flash of all the things behind it. <laughs> That's that, okay. But, That's okay. But okay, okay, cool. Um, I well, uh, I'm going to leave that door closed. I mean, what's the material of the door though? Just out of wood. It's just else. a wooden uh, wooden door. <laughs> All right, if that's the case, I'm going to creep up the stairs and just just barely poke my head around to see what's up on the top. All right, one second. I'm probably sending messages back to the group. Be like, hey, okay, there's a door. I, uh, I have a strong feeling there's... Well, never mind. I won't say what's behind it. All right, I'm going to place you... See how, let's see if I can just drag you to place you on this map so it doesn't share with everybody. Okay, it worked. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, I guess it will. I'll or, or share I can, it with everybody, I can search. but that's okay. No, I can Nobody can see it. it until I add them to the map anyway. I got you. Oh, okay. Can you see now? Yes. Okay, so uh, when you get to the top of the stairs, there's a very small uh, room here. Uh, there is a door to the north and a door to the right. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna creep back down though. Okay. Um, just okay. so you're aware, I can I I immediately zoomed in out of fairness, but there is no shadowing on that one yeah notice that uh when you go back yeah, up there i'll see I if i can fix too. that i'll see if i can fix that when you guys go back up there um uh let's see let me put you back down here i'm gonna turn to Krabic. i'm gonna ask him uh do you have like a detect magic spell you're muted jared berenson you're muted Um, let me check. <clears throat> Alright, well, while he's checking, I'm just going to tell everyone what I saw. I'm like, yo, guys, there's a door around the corner. There's the stairs up with some doors. Everything's closed up. I think this tower is pretty safe to hang out in. So maybe we should just move as a group. Yeah, right. that makes sense. Let's go. Um... I don't currently have detect magic, but I can learn it if I am given enough time. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, I didn't. If you check guys just want to, if you guys just want to get a general sense, you can roll Arcana for me. I don't know if what exactly you were going for, five. If you just want a general like. Sense. I just feel like if we're we're trying to to figure out a direction to go in, if oh. there is a a vibe of like ooh strong magical aura upstairs, downstairs, left, right, center. Oh okay. I'll ro roll a Kana. Actually, I won't. I will let others do such a thing. Yeah, for what you're looking for, I think you'd need some sort of spell. I just thought maybe you were like trying to see if there was some kind of in this particular room something. Mm. No. Well, now we better do that because maybe there is. <laughs> uh, 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 what, did, what did I miss? What's going on now? Oh, there's magic everywhere. Yeah, magic I guess we'll uh, roll. No, well, this is a boring room. This is the safe yeah, point. Uh, like, let's keep on know. moving. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Are we going to go the two places I went or should we all just barrel forward down the stairs? Let's Let's go... Let's have two parties, like two groups go and cover. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. Well, can we? Can I make a perception check to see, or like a yeah, a perception check to see if there's, if I hear people or noises in this area? Sure. Anyone? Yeah, it it seems very quiet um, from the general area. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much movement or anything, and. The vibe of this place is run down, old, um, not well kept. But strangely cozy. <laughs> In this particular Oddly room. healing. Oddly healing. Yeah, let's mm. just let's just go through, barrel through. We'll uh Okay. Are we not gonna rest? 
No, why would we rest? We, we already had rested. One, we had one small battle that most of us weren't in. Since <laughs> I mean, I, I'm okay. I thought somebody wanted to rest to no, get their got, spells back. But I, no, got that's great. I got healed. Um, let's go down in the basement. I'm going to go down the stairs. I'm going to be like, come on, guys. I'm convinced this place is totally safe. Let's go down. <laughs> Agree. All right. Is everybody in agreement? Everybody's going to follow suit? Every, I'm going to sure. follow. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, well, let me yeah. find where those steps end up. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um, share the map. And let me drop everybody in. Lenora, let me know if magically one of these maps just starts working for you. I, I see myself on the new map, but I see only myself. <laughs> And uh, again, it is full of gray squares. Even if you click yourself, does that change anything? Okay, um, it just showed up for me. I think I know what's going on with you, Lenora. Hang on, I, I think I actually yeah, get it. I'm running around in circles on an empty map. Yeah, uh, let me let me do that real quick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, stop. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, sorry, All right. Sorry, there sorry. we go. There we go. All right, let me let me do this. I think I know what's going on here. Um, okay. How do I do it? How do I do it? Um, hang on. I think there's a way to do this. Give me just a second. I'm not big on the whole, like, you're a human so you can't see squat thing. Um, yeah. I think that's Good. what's happening. I've always felt that was racist myself. I think, <laughs> I think humans should be punished for... <laughs> for their weak failings. Yeah. <laughs> Men are just... Uh, the 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 Mankind is just... Uh, enamored by or like what is it what is the quote like driven by their short lives that sounds like the quote i think something it was... something like that because mm -hmm. all because every other fantasy race in existence lives like at least 200 years so men are like these poor like pitied creatures that live and <laughs> live and die in the blink of an eye life. yeah yeah. And they can't see in the dark. Mm, insult to injury. I'm going to start writing a song with some of the crazy things that Hamlin was saying about man. I'm just like, <laughs> die in the blink of an eye. <laughs> I think that works. They die before they even learn the, 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 the secrets of the earth. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to go for emo core, but I will... <laughs> I will take it into consideration. Did any of those things help, or are you still just seeing black? Still just seeing, yeah, the gray. Uh, I don't know. You want, you want to, I'll close the map. Are you sending it to me again? Let's, sure. Let's try, try that. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, right. put me on the map again. I closed it. Okay. I see a map. I see myself. I, should I see the other players? Like, I, I don't even see other players is the weird part of this. Mm -hmm. yeah, we I'm see you. Here. That's so weird. I'm just, I'm just in this void. My character exists in a weird. I can't even move myself right now, actually. And I just now I just rotated. Yeah. I'm ro now I'm... Yeah, you're. <laughs> you're glitched. She fell over, Lenora. Oh, Lenora, she's dying. Okay. She's having a stroke. <laughs> Lenora's glitch. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to hold up the game. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fine. That sucks. I don't know what the problem is. Um. All right. So anyway, you guys, uh, when you come down the steps, um. Uh, from the uh, tower uh, room that you guys were in. It kind of spills out into this chamber. It is uh, brightly lit uh, by a lantern hanging next to the entrance steps. Another one is hanging uh, to the northwest. Um, and the chamber looks empty. There is the sound of dripping water. Um, and uh, uh, there is water kind of flooding the center of this chamber um, uh, up ahead of you. Wow. Wow. It is, it is uh, having gr uh, grown up in a swamp myself. I know it's very difficult to get basements in the with a with a high water table. For real. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, yeah. This is this is cool. Uh, everyone down to make this our path of exploration? Sure. Yeah. So the, the creepy, stairs. The creepy basement is always a good place of exploration. Yeah. So the stairs we just came down are behind us, right? That's correct. Out there. Okay. Cool. All right. Well. We should go, but we shouldn't be in a single file line. <laughs> okay. Spread so, out. 
Yeah, spread out a little bit. Hamlin, if you want to go first. Hamlin's going to wander over here. Okay. Poke his head. I have you guys on free movement, so... Um, oh, okay. Just everybody, I'm going to keep Lenora with... Uh, you're following <laughs> Hamlin, I'm going to assume, Lenora? Oh, yeah, I don't want to... So, I don't want to make you change maps again. Uh, hang on a second. Like, I, d I don't think that's what's going to happen here. So, um, this this area here is stairs going down, um, but you can see it just continue descending. You should be able to see it now. Gotcha. Uh, and uh, <sighs> Fife has headed up towards the north, so I want to kind of describe what she sees. Um, she sees an, a staircase going up, uh, up ahead of her. I'm going to open it up. Mm. It's kind of the same thing as him. Um, give me one second here. You can't really, it's pretty dark, so you can see that it does go up, uh, but that's really all you can really tell. Um, and uh, you're right behind her, Balasar, so you see the same thing. Um, so it looks as though, um, yeah, there's uh, Hamlin Sea Stairs going down to the southeast, and you guys are on the northwest, and Sea Stairs going up. Nathan, uh, how deep is this water? Um, does it seem like the kind of thing, can we like swim under this wall, or is there something there? So you can tell because you can kind of see the bottom because the lantern that is there. You can kind of see that it kind of wades out, but it does get, it looks like it gets deep in the center. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of like dripping happening here, right, from uh, above. And I'd like to mention, by the way, guys, uh, when you guys went down those steps earlier, you went way down some steps. Uh, it was a spiraling mm -hmm. staircase. Um, you, mm -hmm. you know, those were large steps. The steps you see now are, you know, just a few steps as opposed to going down, you know, 150 uh, uh, steps hmm. on your way down to the side. Um, Nathan, I'm going to dive into the middle of this thing with my uh, <laughs> Mariner's armor and start oh. swimming around. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna jump in too because I can breathe underwater. Yeah, true. Okay, so you guys are just wanting to kind of look and see what you see? Just I would, see like, to, see I would like to shed my, fi my fineries as well and put okay. them on the side. One second, guys. When I was doing all that stuff, I made my map like, I see what you guys see. So I, I've got like fog of war. I can't tell what's happening. Mm -hmm. like, give me a second try to fix that real quick. <laughs> I turned to Krabic and I'm like, is this what they've been like? Just like the whole time? It's Jumping been worse. Water? It's, it's been, been worse. worse? Oh, he saw, <laughs> he jumped in the water and I didn't want to not be in the water. Mm -hmm. You're not, not here. It's just That's... me and Krabic having a nice little uh, powwow. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> what just happened when I did that, by the way? We just got revealed some stuff. Oh, ma <laughs> well, maybe I should hide that Mine's again. not that much. It's like just some... Revealed? Yeah, I just see like oh, parts of the stairs. Here we go. Here's how I'm going to do it. Okay, let me... Uh... Where are you guys? Okay, here we go. Um, let me... It just really bugs me that he can't see. I'm still trying to figure something out. Uh, let me turn that back off then. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So when you guys swim underwater, um, you the only thing you really notice is that to the east, um, you can see that it kind of uh, there's a tunnel underwater uh, that goes over towards the east under the water. Oh, great! Let's explore this before we tell any other group. All right. I'm I'm gonna swim. Or I if I see him bolt out, I'm gonna swim, following him. Okay. Uh, so Hamlin, as you enter this area, now it is very dark. The you know there's no light in here. Um, but you you know with your little halfling eyes, you can still. The first thing you notice, you're gonna love this. Uh, there is the glint <laughs> in underwater. Okay, on the ground. There is the mm -hmm. glint of uh, gems, uh, mm. precious-looking stones, um, Hamlin. just kind of scattered all over the floor mm -hmm. in this chamber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Balasar, go, uh, go tell the group we're coming this way. Can um, he just talk underwater? Yeah, I sent, <laughs> I sent, I sent you a message. A mind <laughs> message. <laughs> well, the, I mean, in all honesty, I'm, I'm like. No way am I leaving you alone here unless he wants here. to try to unless persuade he... me. Uh, no, it's okay. I um, I surface. I surface and take a, I'll take a look around what's... Assuming okay. that I'm not, like, in an underwater cave. 
Yeah, um, no, you are. You're definitely in a cave when you surface. Um, this is a very low to the ceiling. Um, you know, uh, you could reach up and touch the top of the ceiling in this room with your hand. Um, uh, it's uh, a pretty large chamber in here, though. Um, and even through this water, you can still see the glint of uh, all the gems kind of laying across the floor. Um, oh, love me some gems. Um, am I supposed to have revealed the room? Yeah, did it not? It's so dark in here, it barely reveals it. Um, okay. All right, I'm, I'm using my mind's eye now. I'm like, okay, um, I wait for I wait for Balasar to surface. Okay, and Balasar, you're moving so, in the room, or were you going back to get the others? What was the plan there? He said he wouldn't leave me. Alone. Oh, okay, so he's staying in the room as well. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess I'm just like... Wow, Balasar, check out this room. <laughs> I think Bal is Balasar on mute. Well, we can cut over to the other you might explorers. Still be having internet, internet. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. nope. I was just peeing. So here we are. <laughs> here. You're just fine. I'm staying with him. Um, let me know what I can see and what I can, because I don't have dark vision. Yeah. Could uh, both of you actually just roll me a perception check real quick? You got it. Love those. No reason perception check. I'm a very ADD halfling. Okay, Balasar, um, as you're kind of scanning the room, because you were kind of looking out for a Hamlin here, um, you notice uh, that there's this, it's very dark in here, but there's a kind of mass above the water uh, to the far east, and you swear you see it moving. Okay. Um, I am going to... Uh, I assume my danger hackles are up. Uh... I am going to cast. Um, let me see. What is the? Okay, Sorry, while you're me... w while you're doing this, I'm I'm walking towards the water with little dollar signs in my eyes. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry. Let me figure. Let me find this. Um, oh, this channel divinity thing. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to cast um, sacred weapon. Uh, uh, and it says that's an action you can imbue one weapon that you were holding with positive energy. Uh, for one minute, you add your charisma modifier to attack rolls, and more importantly, it emits bright light in a 20 foot radius and Ooh. dim light 20 feet beyond that. Okay, I love it. Uh, so as as you, as your weapon lights up, it kind of lights up this room, and you can see that the entire room is 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 water. Right? There's no land in this in this cavern room, um, but most importantly. To the far east, I'm going to reveal it. There is a gray ooze creature um, hovering over the water. Um, and let me place him on the map here. Um, it's just a gray ooze mess, and it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, almost like the, the ooze tentacles uh, kind of uh, whipping around at the air a bit. Okay, great ooze. And when you say the room is just water, like we're there's just like a floor of water, and it's there's like nowhere like to walk go beach. through it. Yeah, there's yeah. no beach. It's just a, a chamber filled with water. And um, uh, you know, here on the surface where you're at, you know, your 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 head is touching the ceiling. Oh, we're swimming. And yeah, it's a great yeah. ooze. Yeah. Okay. Do we and there's see... nowhere to be. You swam through a tunnel and surfaced in this in this mm -hmm. chamber. Do we see that it, like, maybe reacted to the light at all? It doesn't appear so. Not at this time. Hmm. Balazar, don't she... make any sudden movements. Oh. We should I... go back. All right, I look around and see if I can find... If I can't see any place to stand up, you and I not. just see an ooze flying above the water, then I'm I'm like um, yeah, if I can't if I can't attack it, then I don't know what or even get in a good position, then I agree that we should go back. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, um, but on my way back, I'm going to swim a little deeper and just kind of try to like fish a couple gems off. Okay. Sure. The, the floor. <laughs> okay. So as you're swimming down, as soon as your finger touches a gem, um, a, uh, you realize you're being attacked. Okay. Uh, so oh. <laughs> one second. Well, maybe Balasar can like maybe not notice that I'm being attacked and go get the group. Because I certainly would have tried to do it, like hang a little bit behind him. I mean, like, yeah, okay, let's go back, and then like maybe on the way secretly. So. Well, uh, it did miss, but a uh, basically a, a big chunk of uh, ooze kind of whiffed by the water and uh, missed you. Uh, you were able to scoop up three gems. Ho um, ho! Let me give me a second. I'll put it in your inventory. I call that a success. He touched the gems, and this ooze thing from that far away like attacked him. Yeah, like it, shot something. At yeah, it just kind of wow. shot like an ooze at him. Um, a piece of goo flew okay, by. Him. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm adding this into your inventory so you can see it. Uh, you've got an elemental gem. Mm. One just literally called gem, <laughs> and uh, a we gem have, uh, of brightness, uh, which I dropped all those in your inventory. Balasar, did you see me take the gems? <laughs> Be honest. It was pretty. If you're underwater in here, nobody could see. Um, it's murky. Uh, even it's with dark. my radiance, even with my. Oh, radiance true, weapon. true. That's a good point. Yeah, I guess he would have seen him. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to roll perception against my <laughs> sneakiness. <laughs> <laughs> Is water sneakiness? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh. <sighs> His 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 uh, stealth at swim swim uh, uh, pickpocketing. All right, okay. all right, I'll roll it. Uh, never mind, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you guys are swimming back out. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna move you guys back out here where you can see better. Um, yeah, he definitely got away with that. Nobody's seen. All right, what about everybody else? Um. Well, Nora, you're still standing at the stairs to the south going down. Um, okay. And uh, Fife, you're at the uh, northwest there looking at the stairs going up. And so is Kravik. And uh, Balasar and uh, Hamlin have not reemerged yet? Yeah, they just came back. Oh, they're back. Anything under there? Oh, yes. There is a big blob monster, and I think it tried to touch me. Ooh, oh, interesting. Uh, I want to roll to see if I know what this blob monster is. Sure. It looked. Can I just give him a description yeah. of exactly what I saw? Yeah. Uh, so you just kind of describe it's a, it was a gray-shaped ooze, um, and you recognize that is a creature, a gray ooze. Um, they're, oh. they're resistant to a lot of things, a lot of magics. Um, they can't be charmed. Um, they're, they're known to be pretty resistant creatures. Do I know if they have any um, vulnerabilities? Uh, no. Do they have any sort of like tendencies or yeah, use they're, case? Yeah, in they're traps or protection of they, like. They're treasure? known for changing their shape. Um, of course, they always look like they can't like magically look like something else, but they're known for shaping themselves uh, to look like something else. Hmm. Or, you know, to be flat against a wall so it doesn't look like it's a creature and things like that. You know how, like, um, dragons have, like, hordes and or, like, mimics are used to, like, protect people's treasures? Oh, right, any, yeah, you is, don't Is no. there any... No, no, there's no lore like that? N nothing okay. you've ever heard of, no. But uh, they can be killed. Yes. Hmm. Well, I I'm don't... Down. I don't I'm, see a strong reason for going back in there. There didn't seem to be any land or entryway. It was all just water. Yes, and gems. A lot of gems. What? We shouldn't go in there. I didn't mm. see any gems. <laughs> if there's a lot of gems in there, it's possible that they're using those gems to bring back Tiamat. So we should try to fuck it up. And I am down for going in there and fucking up this uh, ooze monster. 
Wait, hmm. uh, gems are part of the... Did we learn that? The gems are part of the summoning? Yeah, we know that riches and loot is what they're going to use to try to get Tiamat to this realm. Hey, are they destroying it, or are they buying something? Did it did it look like this was like an amount of gems that we think would be like in tantamount to what the or or, or um, something akin to what the caravan was uh, take, taking with them that we saw spill out? Possibly, because you guys did see a lot of precious gems, right? So maybe, but the bizarre thing is these are literally thrown in Into the bottom the of a... Of a right, right. Yeah. Oh, so was I there anything above us? Was there a hole above us? Uh, there was just the ceiling that you noticed. Okay, never mind. So, so it's not like a so low ceiling. I mentioned to Krabic, like, there is no place to get your footing was to, to fight this creature we would need a way to be able to fight underwater or above can you make me fly um i think so but i would need time to prepare that spell uh, yeah. also, wait so there's no land in there it's just water just not that they could see even with his light hmm. it looked like a large it looked like a large chamber, but uh, from what they could see, they didn't see anywhere to land, you know, to beach up or... It was honestly a little claustrophobic, guys. Yeah. Because mm. once you're above the water, your head and just a little bit of space above it is all you got. Mm. Yeah, I think we should keep our eyes on the prize. I don't think this, uh, this goo boy is going to change the course of history. He seems just like a weirdo who lives in a cave and looks at shiny things in the water. Which is kind of a bummer if you think about it. Mm, it's sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That life. All right. But perhaps this, this treasure is unrelated to Tiamat. But where did the gems come from? I am also curious about that. Who put them there? Why don't okay. we say once we stop Tiamat, our next mission will be solving the mm. mystery. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to be a team player and I'm going to be like, well, luckily I got one <laughs> can i roll an insight check <laughs> sure i have revealed we should get a group. plus don't know. one every don't know. time yeah. he lies to us because yeah i feel like we should get like an advantage <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna pull, <laughs> I'm gonna pull a no i'm gonna pull a gym out i'm gonna, i'm not being shifty uh you've historically I, been shifty yeah <laughs> Uh, Nathan, I'm, I think it's going to be incumbent on you to let us know when this becomes a thing that he does with disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. We, um, like so I've, I pull a gym out and I'm like, I, I would like to use my jeweling expertise as a jewel merchant to see if I can t t tell anything about the, perhaps the origin um, of these gems. Are they, um, do, are they cut? <clears throat> In a certain way, are they? Do they have uh, any sort of pattern? I would recommend. No, they appear to be very natural. Um, you know, they okay. don't appear to have been, you know, uh, no no expertise or anything. Just like they were mined somewhere, and you know, they're still rough. Okay, uncut. Okay. Yes, uncut. Um, I have gem, a sparkling gem, and a prism. Prism. Those are the. Those are the three. Right. One was called Gem, one was called Brightening Gem or something like that. Another one was Elemental Gem, I think. Uh, I don't have those, but... Hang on, let me check. Maybe it named them something different when I dropped them in. Sparkling, yeah. Spar I'm sorry, it did, it did... I don't know, I hate that it does that. It did rename them. Sparkling Gem was one One just okay. called Gem, and there was another one... A Prism. Yeah, Prism, yes. Okay, well, I'm like, uh, well... This just looks like some gems. I mean, they don't even look cut. Uh, these could be from. I I don't know how they ended up. Gems the... weird. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't know how they ended gem? up at the. Gem. 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 I keep on hearing gem. Not gem. I think I say gem. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I was like. I need to get a pan, and then it'd be Jim, Jim and Pam. Mm. <laughs> I pronounce it uncut gems. <laughs> I like that. Uh, truly, truly, truly outrageous. Mm. <laughs> you found some uncut gems? <laughs> I think I was that was so, 
You guys, so, I was his muse in Uncut Gems. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is, like, people were shocked that she speaks like that. Like, couldn't you tell that immediately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, since we're done with this goop monster, I'm going to sneak my way up these stairs and see what can I see. Okay. Do we want to go upstairs or do we want to go downstairs? There's no more downstairs. There is more downstairs. There is, there is more is downstairs. Good. Yeah. Guys. Downstairs is evil. Upstairs is good. If there's one thing I know about caves is you should always go all the way to the bottom of them. All right. Dogs so. are boys. Well, well, cats it. are girls. Upstairs is good. Downstairs is evil. Well, let this me ask just science. Krabic, did you... Did you peek up there first? Did you and Fife actually peek up there, or you retro that movement? Yeah, I mean, let's I... say uh, let's say I did peek yeah, up there. Yeah, because I'd like to at least say what you saw. So when you were up there, you did see uh, this the area at the top of those steps looked like it had a crane. Um, you can see that um, uh, there's a cliff going down, and the crane looks like um, uh, it was used to maybe haul goods. Um from you know down this cliff uh, down to the lower area to the west. All right, oh. now I do want to look some more. All right. Um, beyond right. beyond that, it's very misty down at the bottom below that. Now uh, the way the crane was positioned uh, is there is a crate um, kind of halfway uh, down uh, that looks like you could use the you know the. Uh, the rope going down from the crane down to the box and probably use that with a little bit of uh, athletic skills uh, to probably get down below. Um, and But below that, it just kind of spills out into a misty area. Mm. I'm going to start doing that thing that's never fun when someone's like, whoa, look at that. Be mm. careful. Ooh, it's so scary. Ooh. <laughs> I would like Watch to. Uh, I would like to summon my bat and have it trip Fife. <laughs> oh, no. All right, new, new, new use of the bat. <laughs> roll, roll a dex uh, saving throw for me, Fife. Ooh, I'm dead. I do not actually. No. Nah. Okay. Oh, it's only a ten. All right, so the Ooh, bat trips. Me. Trips Fife, who falls. Um, Hang on. And I fall into the cliff. Yeah, off the cliff. She falls off the cliff. Rest in okay. Peace. Bye, Five. Bye, Five. Easy come, easy go, like I always say. <laughs> that Jesus. was truly fucked up. Uh, she yeah. takes 10 damage as she hits the ground. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. That's kind of shitty, dude. We've turned on each other. You could just be like, now, I did not summon that bat. Can you <laughs> tell the difference between bats? The, now, when she hits the ground, there's a poof of the mist, um, and it does clear out the general vicinity where she landed a bit. Um, you can just see stonework floor below uh, yourself, and um, b before you is just pure mist. Like, you can't see anything, but it stretches mm. stretches off to the west. I call down to Fife. I say, what happened? Were you being irresponsible and now you're dealing with the consequences? Well, you know, I thought I was it's in... called consequence company. culture, Fife. <laughs> I thought, uh, If that actually had made me drop to my death, uh, what you would have done would have been murder. <laughs> I don't know what point. you're talking about. I was just I'm standing here... I'm gonna cast. Uh, oh, God. oh, God. oh we got some him. PvP. Is this happening? <laughs> what are you casting on him? It. I'm sorry, I missed it. I'm casting uh, Eldritch Blast on him. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do I get to roll anything to see if I dodge this? Uh, it hits. Wait, it are hits. we aware? And, uh, well, it's only it's only one point of damage. It's only one point of damage. Yeah. Are any of us aware that this is going down? You guys heard the Eldritch Blast because this is an echo <laughs> chamber, so you heard the crackle of, um, of of that of that spell uh, coming from. Shall the north. we r shall we run in concern? To <laughs> <see? laughs> what enemies have you found? I'm gonna start screaming my head off and saying, "Krabic is possessed. <laughs> he tried to kill me. Uh, stop him before he hurts me." Krabic. So I'm gonna do a performance check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. <laughs> All right, I'm into this. Remember when I almost killed? Uh, who did I try to stab in the last one? Oh 19. shit! 
<laughs> bitch. While, while I do that, though, I smile a little bit, and you can see, like, my fingers. Like, I'm, I'm giving two fingers very subtly. All right. I'm going to run towards uh, that thing. Krabic, or B- Balasar, uh, there appears to be a demon in this gnome. <laughs> Grab I'm him. Crying. Put him in a headlock. <laughs> I'm going to show gonna them my 10 points five. of damage. I'm going to call down to five. I'm going to say, you're really going to make me waste spell slots so that these guys don't kill me? <laughs> well, no. Uh, I have 10 points of damage. Why don't you ask me 10 points of damage what I'm going to do? Why don't you heal yourself? I don't have healing spells. All right. Well, maybe you well, shouldn't have been dancing no, on the edge. There's I was no being choice. <laughs> I guess there's no choice. It's an all-out brawl. How far down is this? Um, is where Fife is? How far down is it's it? 30 feet. 30 feet? Well, that is what a wonderful coincidence. That is exactly as far as I can teleport. Okay, so you're going to teleport down? I'm going to teleport down to where she is. Okay. While he's teleporting down, I'm going to have a knife. Oh my god. (laughs) Um, As this is happening... um, a, stupid thing a, dra- a dragon emerges. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys suddenly hear a, 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 a female voice ring out. You can't make out what it says, but it's coming from the west, and you hear it ring out as it, it sounds angry. Like an argument. Okay. Um, a loud, not like a, not like a feeble um, uh, maiden voice, but like a very authoritative uh, female voice um, booming um, uh, in an argument of way from the west. I'm a stab uh, okay. at Really us, quick, or... are not all, are you sure all of us can't understand what it was saying? Yeah, it's just it's just the echo so bad. That's why I you can't see, make it out. It's I, not it's I, not a different language. You, well, you don't think gotcha. it is anyway. Um, d- 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 does it sound directed at us or angry at something else? Sounds like else. somebody's having an argument. Oh, okay. It's me. I'm gonna stab Krabic. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. Let's go, baby. Perhaps this mist is a mind mist. It's making everyone crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you guys see her? Did you guys just see her try to attack me? I'm just standing here minding my own business. Make a persuasion check if you're gonna try to change their minds. I've already I've already done a really great performance. So that's literally what just happened. So I don't need to persuade. I already said that he's trying to kill me. Did we see it happen in the thick mist? Yeah, well, every time they move, it kind of it kind of makes the mist kind of move out of the way. So you guys are seeing a struggle at the very least. What's going on down there? Talk Say to you're me. Sorry, I was like, we're like, I have two daggers in my hand. <laughs> Sounds like Fife and Kravik are uh, having some sort of. Uh, Issue that I'm not sure started here. Uh, <laughs> I just think it's weird. I haven't seen you in two weeks. You're stabbing me. No. I stab him again in the neck. Uh, <laughs> wait, no. I'm using my. Um, I'm using my. Uh, what do you call it? I'm using my divinity roll to give her a seven. On that. Well, seven plus five is. Uh... Twelve. What's your uh, is that a hit? AC? What's your AC? My AC is thirteen, bitch. Damn you! <laughs> Can you stop? We're wasting all of our shit, our cool shit. I haven't wasted anything. I've been using cantrips. Why don't you learn use learn some spell spell saving? All right, are we there yet? Yeah, you guys are we're, at the top. Uh, we're we're looking down the cliff into a big thing of mist, and the, and there seems to be some sort of angry voice from afar, and okay, uh, are, angry voice from a close. <laughs> are, are they from? Are they? Uh, is Krabic on the same level as me? No, no, they no. He they're down. down. He, he teleported down. Right? Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're, so they're then, thirty-five down in a big mist. But they're thing. but they're fighting, right? And. As they as are we... not fighting. They are not fighting. I am <laughs> but Someone Krabic is being me. attacked. What as as far as as far as we know, uh Fife said that you were possessed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm so, quite okay. convinced it's this mist is is causing Guys, don't inhale the mist and I wrap a I wrap a um scarf around my head. Don't inhale the mist? Okay. Well I'm gonna try to get down to where they are. Are you gonna, gonna use, use the main... crane? 
Oh, the crane. Um, I, sure, or I can try to like athletics, like yeah. jump my way down there, yeah. and like climb down. Yeah, roll in athletics because uh, what you would do is you try to climb down the rope and then onto the crate and then jump from there down. Will do. Balasar, tell them that we are not them. Maybe that'll get to them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I listen to that, and I and I'm like, it's worked before. It, it could, it could just, it could just be the thing. All right, uh, so you make it down uh, safely, uh, down to uh, where they are. Very misty down here, um, mm-hmm. and uh, the path does stretch to the west. Can you I bu- use Mage Hand to try to give uh, Krabic a, a, a massive wedgie? <laughs> sure. Uh, only 10 pounds of wedgie force, though. No. That's a fucking <laughs> lot of pounds. How many pounds do you think you can, your butt can handle? <laughs> uh, well, generally, the wedgies I've received from my older brothers lift me off the ground, so however many pounds I weigh. <laughs> I'm going to give him a front wedgie. Whoa. Mm. Wow. So I Balasar, give him a wedgie. I'm glad you're here. She's attacking me. <laughs> She's crazy. I don't know what's going on. All I did was I said, watch out for the cliff, and then she tripped and she fell. I rolled a 23 persuasion as I say, Balasar, he tried to kill me. Balasar, do you see me attacking her right now? She stabbed me. She, she hit me with an Eldritch Blast. I'm just standing here, bro. Look at my face. I have 10 points of damage. Yeah, you fell. You fell down the cliff. How did I fall, Krabic? <laughs> oh, How did I fall? It's right, a dark I cave. To, I try to hold them apart. Okay. I, like, stay between them as much as possible. I say, stop this. You are, you are friends. Not Ooh. anymore. What do I have to roll to do a wedgie? What does a girl have to do to get a wedgie around here? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I think he would have to roll a, a dex saving throw to see if he can dodge the... Uh... To see if the strap breaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can she do this around Balasar? He's trying to separate us. It's, it's magic. A mage, it's a mage hand. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta do a dex saving throw? Yeah. Do I have a wedgie? Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you, you, wedgie. yeah, you still got a bit of a wedgie there. As, as Balasar was trying to uh, kind of uh, break you guys apart, uh, the mage hand slips around Balasar and uh, grabs you and uh, lifts you. You know, you're a halfling, so it, it you're it's strong enough to just barely um, tug you up off the ground a bit. I look Fife in the eye and I say, buy me a drink first. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> buy me a healing potion, you jerk. <laughs> Can anybody heal this woman? She's being very upset. Uh, am I down there? Is Lenore there? Lenore? Yeah, what do you want to do, you're Lenore? You're up on the cliff. You're up I'm, on the cliff with me. I'm climbing. Oh, I can heal. All right, give me an athletics check, Lenora, to climb down. Sure. Are you using the crane, or are you trying to just straight up climb down the cliffside? Um, what's easy? The crane looks to be the easier. All right, I use the crane. All right. You, I don't know why you guys didn't hear what Kirsten just said, but I just heard her yelling something from the other room. And I don't know what it was, but it's funny that it's happening. <laughs> so, uh, Lenora, as you're going down, um, as you're sliding down the rope, it kind of burns your hands a bit, uh, and you oh. lose your you lose your grip, and you do fall. Um, but you were about halfway down, so you take five points of damage. Uh, but you are at the bottom now. All right. Uh, I, I survey the scene. I guess I'm taking in what everyone else. I see just sort of general bickering, and I sort of slam my. I like, you know, I'm what, holding my hands, my burning hand, my hands, and I'm like, enough. Can we please just focus? And uh, I cast. Um, command. Do I, I command everyone to <laughs> shut up. Um, I'll do a. Uh, I'll do a... Uh, is only five hurt? No, I have one point of damage from um, from an Eldritch Blast. Yeah, five is... To heal his one point of damage, I will never forgive you. Fife is scuffed up a bit. Um, you know, she's got... She's got some... But it all, of my health. She's got it some all looks dirt quite and dust. Nat- it looks natural damage, like as if from, like, hit falling and hitting rocks. Right, versus right. The- 
very clear eldritch uh, I damage. I, don't think that, <laughs> Lord, I, really I feel care. like one of those women in like in like a movie where her son is like a demon and the son pushes her off like like the balcony and everybody's like, oh, he's like a little boy. He's a fully grown man and his name is Krabbick and he's a jerk. I'm just looking like really adorable. Like, what could I do? I'm just a little. A little gnome, and I have a little cute hat, and I dance a little bit. <laughs> and, no, and- I, I make a persuasion check. I've made it 23s, 22, 25. I, Everybody. I, I do want to also be- say that uh, it perhaps um, uh, that uh, the 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 size of the cliff wasn't known um, uh, due to the mist, kind of giving an optical illusion. Perhaps he thought it was a very small drop. Wow. Or it could have been a hundred feet, and I'd be dead. All right, okay. um, I am. I am using my healer feet on Fife. Mm-hmm. Using my healer's kit, of which I bought several last time. Uh, Nate, you know this. Yep. Uh, to uh, restore one d six plus four hit points to Fife. Okay, roll for it. Let's see how many, how much you heal her for. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll one d six and add. Like, there's no like button to press. It yeah, just that. roll it, and then I'll do it. Right. We'll add four to it. Uh, six, so it's going to be ten. So that heals okay. her up. Five, I'm thanks to my new healed. feet, you should be fully healed. I Thank say, you. are we good? Do we have to separate you two like schoolyard children? Um, <laughs> or can I'm we gonna, move on? I'm going to try to grapple uh, uh, Krabbick to get to get him neutralized. Yeah, okay. basically and, to... and, and I'm going to shoot Balasar. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, so as as this is happening, guys, there is a um, uh, a blinding flash uh, from the west um, where the mist kind of lights up, um, uh, coming you know as as if the the light kind of shot from the west and then blankets across the mist and then uh, travels back and is gone. Oh, what's Tronic doing? Do you think? Can we just decide if he's on? Yeah, the cliff or I think Tronic is climbing down. I'm gonna roll his athletics. Uh, where did we hear that voice coming from? Was that also from yeah, the, west? To the west? To the west, yes. Okay, so Tronic, with the, with the... Tronic falls, uh, so as he's trying to climb down, oh, he, he makes it onto the rope part, uh, lands onto the crate, and then loses his footing and falls from there. He was pretty close to the ground, so he takes four damage. Alright, wow. so only Hamlin is up top now. Whoa, what was that? Guys! What? What are you doing down there? Mm-hmm. Don't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Hamlin is very committed to this mist. Uh, <laughs> mist I don't. Have, I don't have any other explanation for my, why my whole, why all my friends are acting like lunatics. <laughs> uh, I am uh, over this uh, this altercation, and I am now interested in you this. You uh, <laughs> He's over it. He's over it, Fife. I like. I'm telling you guys genuinely. Unless unless Krabic does something, Jarrett's getting something. <laughs> <laughs> Domestic abuse. Well, I'm trying to grapple him. I, you uh, know what? Balasar is my new boyfriend. Wow. I'm just trying does, to grapple. Does Balasar grapple me? Wait, were you guys dating in game? No. No. <laughs> oh no, I'm just trying to grapple and him. And we never will. Him. <laughs> because possibly I think he's charmed or possessed. Yeah, there's voices, there's light. Does he roll or do I roll for, for that grapple? Wait, somebody's grappling? I miss that. Yeah, I'm trying to grapple, to grapple me. Strength I'm trying to grapple Krabic just to basically not hurt him, but, but you know, incapacitate him. Basically yeah, yeah you, just, you just roll a strength check and uh, it just has to be greater than his. Okay, you got it. Which I'm gonna check his now. Never mind. It doesn't work. He's he's a slippery gnome, and he uh he slips away from you. In my okay. version, I don't even move, and you're just like tr- you're just like, grabbing at mists that's like next to me. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I turn myself invisible because I want to check out this this area where the angry voice is. Mm, okay. We see a perfect gnome shape moving through the mist. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper to Lenora. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Lenora and be like, "He has a wedgie." Mm. Nice. Um, Krabic, roll me Arcano real quick. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna describe a few things here. So um, 
uh, right there you can see the steps that are uh, looks like they're going down deeper. Uh, and then to the uh, southeast there, there is a path. Now from that, from that entryway in this cavern, uh, you can hear uh, croaking sounds. Uh, you know, frog frog type sounds. Uh, and then you're you get this powerful sense of magic uh, to the northwest. Uh, that that kind of entryway going up uh, to the north there. All right, I messaged the group. Um, uh, you said it sounds like bullywugs to the southeast? Yeah, frogs. It sounds like frogs, yeah. Croaking. All right, and nothing to the southwest? Uh, just stairs. Stairs down or stairs yep. up? Down. All right, I just messaged that to the group. Frogs to the southeast, stairs down to the southwest, magic to the northeast, northwest, that's where I'm going. Here he is, stuck in the middle with... Mm-hmm. A... Hey, um, by <laughs> the way... I can't see the map uh, at all. Can, can, I, can anyone else? Like, I, well, I haven't seen the map in the whole day. So. Uh, what okay. about you, Kravik? Well, can you see? I can see it. Yeah, these, I don't see anything. The, the whole maps revealed. in this campaign have been oh, really wonky. Um, I, I I don't see anything different from like I, from where we moved since then. <laughs> I, I have the, the so castle weird. or whatever. I, I I'm alone or on the, the cliff. The and everyone else has disappeared, and I'm just going, guys. Where's guys, the cliff? The mist has. Oh consumed no, uh, that's you. because of the that's because of the way the cliff works. Uh, it, it it acts like a door. Um, oh, so I have to. See. Yeah, I have to move you down it before you can see. Um, well, there. I'm not going down there. I'm terrified. But do I see anything from the top of the cliff? Like, just I mean, mist. Is there, but is there more to the top of the cliff? Do you know what I mean? Oh or no, I'm like, sorry. No, uh, it doesn't seem so. Besides the crane up oh. there. Uh, so, Krabic, when you uh, when you come up into this area uh, where you are, um, mm-hmm. the mist is really thick in here, um, and you see what looks like a circle carved into the floor um, up ahead. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's obscured by mist, but uh, roll me a roll me a perception real quick. I have a um, I have a new feat. Okay. Uh, I am observant, so I have a plus five to my perception. Um, okay. If I can see a creature's mouth while it is speaking a language I understand, I can read its lips as well. Okay, so oh, what nice. am I rolling? Perception? Okay. Yeah, perception. So this should be a plus... I don't know if it's going to do it automatically. But there should okay. be another plus five on that. So yeah, 15. You... Okay, 15. All right, there we go. Uh, so um, the circle itself... Um... And I'm basing this also for your arcana check earlier. Um, mm-hmm. You recognize this is some kind of some kind of a teleportation uh, circle. Mm-hmm. Okay. And do I see anything else in the room, or is it just the circle? That's it. The circle is uh, the, the room is done. Yep. Mm-hmm. Teleportation circle. All right. Go back and check out this downstairs now. Okay, um, so this area, um, it looks like it's some kind of religious area. Um, there's uh, uh, carvings of frogs, uh, ranging from the size of a fist to the size of a pumpkin. Um, there's also carvings on the floor, uh, renderings of frogs, and uh, kind of scratched into the walls around um, all the surfaces and colored with chalk. Um, and you do recognize that these are... Um, taken from the worship of uh, Guanadwar, the god of slimes, and Shar, the goddess of shadows. Um, Wait, sorry, what are these again? They're carvings on the on the wall and the floor. Carvings? That's a slime, that, Jarrett. You would know about that because you're so slimy. <laughs> carvings that worship... <laughs> they're, are they like totems? Like, like No, just three? carvings, like scratched into the wall with chalk coloring them. And they are carvings of two different um, gods. Yeah, you recognize that. That's what it, it appears that they're for. Um, they're they're crude, elementary. Not you recognize it as like what a child might try to uh, envision as uh, uh, artifacts and relics of uh, of the gods of Guanadwar and Shar, uh, the goddess of shadows and the god of slimes. Shadows and what was the last one? Guanadar and who? Shar. Shar and Shar is the god Go- of shadows. Goddess of shadows. Oh. 
Goddess of Shadows. Okay. Um and um as you're as you're in here, um mm-hmm. it's still pretty misty. Uh you notice uh, suddenly that the uh over to the north the uh mist kind of swirls around a bit and then you realize that you're not in the room alone. Um there is a very large um uh bullywug creature uh mm-hmm. dressed in a robe. Um, standing in the corner with a, uh, uh, some papers in his hand. Because you're invisible, he doesn't realize you're in the room. Uh, can I see the papers? Can I see what's written on them? Yeah, you want to get close enough to try? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, when you get close enough to look, it, it appears as though this was meant to be, uh, scrolls of, education on the uh on uh Shar, the goddess of shadows however mm-hmm. uh you know you in your research and your time of reading books and things this is more like a children's uh book uh kind of level of intelligence um mm-hmm. but he's studying them as if it's uh you know as if it's something of great value mm. okay interesting all right. You hear him it's muttering to um Ooh, what does he mutter? He's muttering under his breath about when the time is right the bullywugs will revolt. Ooh. Okay. All right, continuing on. All right. Um Let's see here. Um Okay, so this room um, has has a bunch of clay pots in them. Um, they're just scattered all over the room. Um, and you see a couple of spell books laying on the ground as well. Um, and that is all. Okay, uh, can I take the spell books? See if I want to learn some new spells from them. Okay. Give me one second here. Okay, um, so you reach down and you grab one of the spell books. When you mm-hmm. do, there's uh, as you lift up off the ground, there's a poof of smoke. Um, let me see. Roll me a Constitution saving throw. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> now I know your weak saving throw. <laughs> oh your shit! That was almost an eighteen. God damn it! Okay, um, give me one second. Jared's constitution saving throw as as Krabic is about the same as his constitution saving throw as a human. So the Ooh. the poop of smoke hits you in the eye and you stumble mm-hmm. backwards and you fall back and you land onto one of the pots um, behind you. It crashes open and another poof of smoke comes up. Um, roll me another Ooh. constitution saving throw. Shit. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, uh, you've managed to dodge out of the way. That one doesn't hit you. Uh, and then as you're looking around the room, keep in mind it's still kind of misty. The mm-hmm. mist begins to form into, a, you know, almost taking up the entire room. This is gargantuan frog. Um, and it's opening its mouth uh, and it's, it's rushing towards you as if it's going to swallow you whole. All right. Well, I'm going to run away. Kirby. Okay, as you run into this room, uh, your invisibility is gone due to the uh, smoke on you. Uh, the creature that was in here sees you uh, dive out of the room and mm-hmm. um, uh, roll initiative. Well, oh, shit. Well, shit. All right. Um, Let's let's stop there because that was a lot of exploring, um, and let's go back uh, to the group over here before we continue back <laughs> with you, Kravik. Uh And um, I just want to let you guys know that this is a very echoey chamber. Uh, you guys heard the breaking of something. You heard a struggle sound, um, 
and uh, you heard footsteps running, and then uh, you heard the loud uh, kind of croak of a, a of a of a frog creature. Well, I've been making a real big oh, yeah. deal out about how, how much... Travic was mean to me. I've been crying <laughs> pretty loudly. <laughs> Um, wait, how much of that uh, perception applies to me who's up, still up on you the You too. Oh, yeah. This is okay. a very uh, – any noise in this chamber would be heard for very far. Okay. All right. I'm going to start towards it uh, and pause for a sec to, to turn and say it's almost like we should be walking around together. <laughs> <laughs> and then I run off. All right. Uh-huh. And where are you going to go? Well, are you running in the direction I'll, of the sounds, basically? I was going to move move in the direction of the sound. And assuming I know that that's where Krabic went to, I'm going to move in the direction of the sound, yeah. Okay. So I'll put you here at the top of the steps, because uh, you're pretty sure it came from that direction. Plus, he sent you guys the messages um, before he went down there. Um, yeah. And what about everybody yeah. else? Yeah, I'll follow right, right alongside Balasar. Okay. When I I don't know if this uh, if this would interrupt if we're all dashing or not, but I also realized I'm, I'm missing a few points from that fall. I can also use my healer's kit to um, uh, heal myself as well. Okay, so, sure. Go ahead and do that. Roll the um, six. Yeah. Um, is it hard to see in the mist? Plus four, so five. Uh, it is hard to see, but when you run, it kind of clears a little bit, so it's enough. And and as you guys are. Um, uh, it looks like as you descend the steps, I mean, there is still some mist, but it's a lot less as you, it looks like going down those steps. Um, okay. Um, while we're in free action, I'm going to channel divinity again into my sacred weapon. Uh, okay. And, and uh, get my little light up as I go. Okay. I'm also probably going to just like be like, oh, I knew I should have stayed home today and like jumped into the mist. So. Okay. Are you, <laughs> you're jumping down from the cliff? I'm gonna do some acrobatics okay. off of yeah. the um, off of the rope and okay, you know, a fancy jump down. So just roll acrobatics for me. Okay, gonna do some. Okay. Whoo! That was almost a two. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Uh, so, <laughs> so Hamlin kind of jumps, grabs the rope, t- uh, spins around it, uh, hops down onto the uh, crate at the bottom of the crane, and then uh, front flips down onto the ground. Uh, let oh. me put you down there. And I'm gonna be like, guys, are you all, are you all okay? I heard a frog. Tronic is oddly quiet, but he nods his head. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, oh, I wanted to actually ask you one thing, Nathan. Okay. Uh, actually, I could probably wait till the end of the thing, but I don't want to like do it unfairly. Um, I I uh, I I picked a spell that turns out to be utterly useless because rogues get it for free. Okay. Um, I don't think it's like in the rule book that you could undo the spell, but I've never cast the spell once. Um, do you mind if I swap it out with the same level spell? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, cool. All right, and five, did you want to do anything this round? I'm going to look up at the uh, at the rope. I'm going to... Ooh, well, I just got kicked out, but uh, I'm going to look <laughs> at the rope and think about how I definitely could have made that, uh, <laughs> that saving throw, uh, and then I'm going to run after Okay, I'm gonna get you back on the map where it kicked you out. Sorry, no, I, I got kicked off, so I'm I'm coming back on. Okay, just let me know you're back on. I'll share it again. Jared, turn off the internet. Uh, <laughs> at me, <specifically>. at you. <laughs> he's lo- he he's logged the into the router. He's he's broken into my house. He's ruining my life. I genuinely have been so nice to him today, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really nice to to um, my fiance as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. It's really weird that sh- that uh, she's getting upset about this role playing situation. It is really weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's really weird. All right. We're about to go into the Cape Blanchett, like Lord of the Rings, uh, real life monologue. Real life Kirsten Kim is upset at something that two fictional characters did to each other. Because I didn't deserve it. <laughs> All right. I actually 
also don't have any visibility and it does anyone else see anything going on down here not me with my human eyes oh yeah what we, what we, what we hang, we're heading towards noise we hear it we hear yeah, but, uh, emotion but i don't see anyone else on the map or anything oh um, map wise i don't see shit oh your map still isn't working what about now what if i move you there nope yeah the map is so broke um Tell you guys what, let's just do this, even though it kind of is lame. You guys are good at not meta gaming, so let's just switch to this because I have a feeling it would work. I wouldn't dream of meta gaming. <laughs> I also, I, I just have to tell you, whenever I use the rectangle, rectangular. The rectum? No. No. <laughs> it's, uh, when I was using this, the only way that I could palette the map system is when I dark. The whole thing with a mask and then i would draw a rectangle for where they saw and like clear it out and i would do everything how did you do that uh it's uh it's one of the settings on the mask layer so when you're looking at the map you can go to um there you go to unlock and then masking uh, right. Add global right. mask or remove global mask. Yeah, so you add a mask to the whole thing, and then you can literally like go into like mask mode and like remove bits of the mask um, in in like rectangles. I uh, I fully see this new map. This map that you just dropped. Yeah, let's really just short. yeah let's just use the new map because I know that it works. I just have to shrink everybody down because we promise we won't head straight for the coolest looking thing. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it, you can just see ahead, but it doesn't tell you what it is. Or I hope it doesn't. Yeah. Does it, Kravik? Can you? No. Okay. Uh, so let me just move everybody to this. It'll be fine. Um, then everybody can see and um, won't plus be your difficult. viewers, your viewers at home will be able to. Observe what we're looking at. Yeah, so I'm dropping bow, so I gotta make you guys make you guys gargantuan, so I gotta shrink you down. All right, Spalasar, here's mm -hmm. five. Of course, oh my God. she's here. Spalasar. <laughs> uh, then we've got who else? Uh, let's move Tronic out. Nora. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got to say their character's name like a Pokemon. Frambic. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> There's Hamlin. All right. And uh, who else am I missing? Lenora. Yep, yep, yep. We'll be able to see the map for the first time tonight. All right. Now everybody can see, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've missed we're giant. We we you've made our icons small, but you haven't made our. I know, I know. That's the problem but... with this map. This is meant for the DM, uh, but at least we can uh, we can all see. All right. I like how I still have Kravik, uh like tagged as the person I'm going to attack, so uh... I always know where he is at any given moment. <laughs> all right, let me pull far. Uh, we're going to go back to the room where Kravik is now, and we're going to go from the initiative. Um, did everybody roll that? Did everybody roll initiative? Roll oh, initiative? No. Yeah. Yeah, everybody roll. Uh, Krabic did, uh, but everybody else needs to roll. Ooh, that was almost a 20. So this guy's name is Farblex Spattergoo. Love a it. Good, a good... Uh, uh, Christian uh, name. Frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was in the Bible, uh... The book, <laughs> the book of Farblex Spattergoo definitely uh, parted the sea. <laughs> All right, it is. Uh, well, we're gonna skip back to this because everybody got a free turn. So we're gonna go back to Farblex. Um, he is going to. Is he wearing a fish head on his head? Yes, he or is. is he yes, fish? he is. He's got like a a like a pope hat, except for it's like a. A alligator it's head. A, I love God it. Damn. I love it. That's a Luke. He's, Badass. He's holding. Yeah, he's holding like a meat thing. It's like he's a holding... Lady Gaga dress. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy's ahead of his time. Far black spatter goo. I'm gonna kill Kravik. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what Joan Rivers would have said. Okay, so he is going to, uh, he jumps into the air, uh, high into the air, and lands uh, right in front of Kravik. And um, let me see how this works. He is going to, first he's going to bite at Kravik. And that's a critical miss. One second. Let's see if anything. His head falls off. Ah, he uh, uh. he bites at him. Kravik dodges, and he does fall to the ground. Um, he spins with his spear on the ground, so it's going to be a disadvantage here, and uh, tries to attack with the spear on the ground. It's a hit. Nice. He said nice <laughs> <laughs> for two damage. Or, or, I'm sorry, four tonight. damage. Um, mm-hmm. And it is now... It is five's turn. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to run uh, run five. Run to the room and help the bad and, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Charm person on 15. Farblex and then <laughs> commit him to kill uh, <laughs> so that he fights better. I'm going to slink over <laughs> here. Um. Okay. And then I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at Kravik. You gonna and let give him... a. You gonna give Farblex Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt okay. at Farblex Spattergoo, my son, my sweet son. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's cast it. That is a hit. All right, it hits. And then uh, 112. Okay, so it's five damage. Nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, it is now Lenora's turn. Coolio. Um, yeah, same thing. Running into the room, which I can do. I can actually do. Can I, give, can I give Bardic Inspiration if I'm like, you only can use this against Krabic? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, I run up to this guy. Uh, hammer hammer at the ready. And I just uh, go right for his dumb little fish head. Uh, okay. Take a, take a full aggressive swing with my club of warning. Okay. Ugh. Miss. It is Kravik's turn. All right, a couple of things. Number one, um, do I know anything about this security mist that has attacked me? Do I need to roll an arcana or a history? It... I'm trying to think of how this would work. Um, yeah, roll me a... Actually, roll me a wisdom check. Because the frog is the the fog frog <laughs> is behind mm-hmm. you, uh, and he's just wow. like mouth open, like he he's not doing anything at the time. Uh, so um, I would also like to mention, well, that's I can't really do that. Uh, so yeah, he's just like hanging out behind you. Wait, I, I'm also out of curiosity. Did we start? In the middle of the combat tractor, or is my combat yeah. tractor? Yeah, no, no, no. You're right. Oh, I just, okay, I just okay. wanted to start back at Farblex okay, because okay, I let cool, everybody else cool, go, cool. and then I just went from there. Um, right. Okay, but yeah, you so you're saying I don't know anything about this fog? No, no. Okay. It's evil. So also the uh, teleportation circle. Is there anything that I know about that, like information that I could glean? Like, is it the kind of teleportation place that just goes to one place? Is it just like facilitate teleportation anywhere? Yeah. So, uh, by the way, I'm giving you some extra things, right? Because you study a lot. That's part of your background. So, um, yes. you read a lot of books, etc. So, you w- you did recognize that it's the kind of teleportation circle that needs a word. It needs a, mm. a you know. A specific word to activate. Mm-hmm. Try spatter goo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I would like to move uh, away out of out of uh, now. If you melee mo- distance, well, okay, I'll give it to oh, you because he's no, 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 no. You won't remember he was on the ground. Oh, he's prone. Excellent. Yeah, because he rolled a, a critical fail. So okay. Uh, in that case, I am going to cast. Should I? 
or was someone else referring to this guy, the spatter goo guy mm -hmm. that I swung at? Should I have had a second chance to hit him because he was prone or no? Um, no. No. Oh. I don't think so. We should have did an advantage roll, though. It's an advantage, yeah. Advantage. Oh. Mm. Yeah, go back and roll again. Let's see what you get. Let's see if you'd have hit him if you'd rolled again. What a kind DM. <laughs> Turns out I can hit people on the floor. Yeah, go uh, ahead. You did hit him, so roll for damage. Okay, there we go. Thank you. All right, and did that count? Did it do it? Oh, I didn't target him. Can you, oh, yeah, can you... I'll just add it myself. All right, thanks. All right, and all right, so any action you want to take, Krabic? Yeah, I'm going to cast a chromatic orb. Okay. I'm going to use acid damage. Oh, really? This one again? That's a hit. Alright. Acid damage. Sorry, Kirsten. We like chromatic orb. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. We're it's we're like, we're, we're gonna keep, chromatic keep, orb. He's gonna keep doing it forever and ever. Fine. There you go. 17 damage. Nice. I you would are. also, as a bonus action, like to use minor illusion to project an apology to Fife. <laughs> it says, sorry I told my bat to trip you. I didn't think that you would be this mad about it. That's on oh. the record. That's actually on the record. You can bring that to court. <laughs> Thank you, Hamlin. Wherever you are. Hamlin speaks in my ear to remind me he puts his lawyer hat on. <laughs> it's actually uh, admissible. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, it is Tronic's turn. Um, I am going to move him down into the room. He can't quite make it to Splatter Goo, but he's going to get to here, and he's going to fire. Uh, what does he have? A crossbow, I think. What does he got here? Oh, I also want to, in my apology, say thank you so much for that five damage you did on this guy. And it went back. I was thinking about how magnanimous. I was going to be so sweet. Yeah, he does have I guarantee though. you guys, like, the thing is, the reason why I'm pushing so hard on this is I'm going to get off this phone call. I'm going to walk into that bedroom, and Jared's immediately going to be like, oh, baby, can you rub my back? Oh, baby. Can you, can you take oh, baby. I'm just a little baby boy. That's what he's going to do to me. Oh. All right, so uh, nine damage. It was a critical hit from uh, from the from Tronic, um, and it is now Balasar's turn. All right, I'm going to uh, run in as well. Can I make it to him? I can. Yeah, I believe probably. It's only What's 15. your thirty? Yeah, yeah, thirty. So I'm going to run all the way past everyone. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna run into him. I, okay. Sorry, I, yeah. Thank you for moving me. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna swing my uh, longsword at him. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Wait. Where am I? Okay. I'm targeting. Okay, great. Um. I'm gonna swing. That's a hit. Oh, great. Uh, then here we go. Wait, what? Did I just do that? I don't no, think. That... I... Sorry, I did. I did something. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, thirteen damage. And it is Hamlin's turn. Okay, I'm gonna run to the top of the stairs. Okay. Here. Oops. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I'm going to aim my bow at the dying Farblex, and I'm gonna yell. Slimes are not meant to be worshipped. They're disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna fire a bow. At. Aiming straight for his face. Okay. Chat miss. <laughs> All right, it is Far Black Splatter Goo's uh, but turn. He, he, he does, heard, but he heard me about the disgusting. Yeah, and he is—he seems right. very uh, offended by that. Um, mm -hmm. 
let me see here. He stands up and turns towards uh, the direction of Lenora, Tronic, Perfect. Fife, and Krabic. Mm -hmm. He's going to do a cone. We're going to get an ice cream cone. No, I hate ice cream cones. It's the wrong season for them. Run too far. Run too far. And he casts Poison Spray. Ooh. This one's on five. She, she failed. Um, C'est la vie. Oh, wait, are you, sure, are you doing a saving throw? Yeah, that was a saving us? throw, yeah. I, I will uh, give you my saving throw then. Is a 19. Okay. Wow. In that case, let me take off the damage. From five. Hey, note to note to everyone. If you stab Krabbik in the neck, he'll give you oh, saving no, throws. Oh, for me. Oh, oh, for yourself. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Let me add that damage back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to put you in that situation. I just thought because you said that at that time. All right, so now he let, uh, let me roll it on Lenora. <laughs> Everyone thought I don't, the same thing. Uh, Lenora saved. Um, yeah. Let me roll it against... Uh, I just thought Krabic was thinking, Cronic. shit, I do want to back rub after this. I yeah, that's, you about. know he's thinking that in his head. <laughs> it does hit Tronic. Let's see the damage. Twelve damage to Tronic. And you said you're using your saving 19, uh, so you, you saved. Um, and mm, that's his turn. It is now Fife's turn. Okay, I am going to use Hellish Rebuke, or not Hellish Rebuke, Witch Bolt, and he automatically gets 1d12. Um, and then as uh, my bonus action, I want to intimidate him into standing down, because he, we literally have a round where we're just going to wail on him, and I'm going to tell him, like, we are going to wail on you for another full... You're by yourself, bruh. And we are going to kill you. Uh, it works. Stand he, down. he falls to his knees. Uh, and he's in uh, a lot of pain. Um, and um, give me a second here. This is actually in the book. I want to do it exactly right. Ooh. By the book. By the book. Uh, yeah, he falls to his knees, and uh, uh, he says, Please, no kill, no kill, splatter goo, J just, just, just try to protect area, please, help, help splatter goo, help, help, help take out cultists. Aww. Splatter goo. Wait, you're trying to kill the, uh, you're trying to kill the cultists? Uh, cultists, uh, lizard, uh, my swamp. Our swamp, Bullywog Swamp. I'm going to roll an insight on this guy. It's a nine. You know everything. As far as you know, he's being 100% uh, honest. I will also roll an insight on this guy. <laughs> you also oh, believe that he is being eight. honest. Uh, I'm going to say, you know, where... We heard a woman's voice. Where did she go? Resmir, Resmir, uh, Dragon Lady. She she teleport. They they use teleport. Goods, treasure. They they use teleport. Go somewhere far, far away. What's mm. the word that she uses to teleport? It's a spell. A word, word. I I I no understand. She. You're in order to use that teleportation circle, you need a word. What's the word that she says before she teleports? Dr Drazier. She always say Drazier. And then gone. Flashlight. Big light. You know where she goes? I'm not allowed to use teleport. What's the deal with this mist? Mist? D D yeah, there's a, there's a protective mist. I tried to steal one of your spell books. No, 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 no. You, you misunderstand. Uh... You you get hit. Uh, you 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 hallucinate. What? You hallucinate. You see. You see. 
not real. All right, I want to go back in that room now. <laughs> All right. Can I ask uh, Farblex if there's anybody else in the uh, in this area? Yes, uh, Lizard uh, uh, and, and Bullywog. Uh, little bit of cultist, little bit travel, teleport. Okay. Do you serve Tiamat? Or oh, no. I I trick. I tricked. Resmir, come. Powerful. No choice, Bullywog. Just do what say. Will mm-hmm. you help us fight the cult? I dying. Please, heal me. <laughs> if I heal you. <laughs> <laughs> and I let my hands like glow a little or whatever. Will you help fight? Uh, I... Hamlet, come, ha- Hamlet comes down the stairs Hamlet come help. in the middle of this thing and says, as long as he takes off that disgusting fish hat. <laughs> <laughs> I take off fish hat. I, 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 I know no fight Resmir. Resmir's strong. Resmir kill. So you're cool with us doing it. Uh, uh, but mm-hmm. you're fighting us. You had no problem fighting us. I, I'm not strong. You come here. Uh, you attack me. It's true. We did. did, we, did we no, attack you attacked me first. Yeah. <laughs> you, you come. You break things. You, 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 you come in my sacred room and kill and and, and break things. Mm. You sneaky. Kind of, you are sneaky. You are sneaky. I sorry. Right. I not know. I I want castle. I want I want swamp back. Swamp belong to Bullywog. We can't oh, right. here. All right. Do you have uh so now that I'm back in this room, do I still see the big old cloud thing? Uh yeah, that frog is just following you with its mouth open. So it's not doing anything. No. All right. So can I pick up that spell book now? Yeah, you pick it up uh, and you open it, and it it it's like scribble scrabble. Um, it it doesn't seem to be a legit spell book. It's uh, looks like a child drew in it. <laughs> this guy's say pretending to, to be a wizard. I'll say to our I'll say to our new friends. Uh, why is there so much kid shit in here? Who are you talking to? Who? I am talking to uh, Farblex. Okay. No, no, no. My my incantation. Uh, I want be shaman. Oh my god, we have met a special bullywog. <laughs> no, no he's just, trying. It just dawned on Hamlin what's happening here, and I'm like, oh, guys, we cannot attack this guy. <laughs> we, need, we need to heal him right now. I agree. Get out of here. All right, All right. let's let's I, heal him. I say, I say, okay. I will heal you, but when we need your aid, you will come. Yes. And I say, yeah, because I give, and then I try to intimidate a little bit, and I say, but I and I take away. Uh, I command Bollywog. I, uh, no more trouble from any Bollywog. Uh, no control, lizard, cultists. They, they, no listen. All right. Uh, good enough for me. All right, so I, I heal him. I lay on hands for him. Uh, I think all I have is nine points left, so I, okay. I give him back nine points at least. Okay. How do we, um, if we need Bullywugs to help us in this fight, how do we get in touch with you? I hear, I stay here in Castle, here in this room, nearby, here. So we'll come back here. Mm-hmm. I'm yes. going to give him my last healing potion. Okay. And I'm going to, like, let him use it. Um, and then I'm going to say... Uh, if we go through the teleportation device, can you guard that room and warn us if there's an attack when we come back? Yes, I guard. I, 
I no understand. You, I keep from people follow. Yeah, people follow, or if anybody's like coming the other way, like coming, coming to the room, or if we come back and there's people behind us, just be ready to, to fight. I try to stop. Okay. That works. Do you know what's what's on the other side of the teleportation? I know loud use. Old teleport. Resmer not make. Old. Old. Mm. Alright guys. I'm thinking that we should all teleport. Okay. I, I think have that a, would be I, really fun. I have a bell in my inventory. I would like to give... Um, Spatter goo my bell and just say this here's this is for you, buddy. Mm. You can ring it; it makes a sound. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs he grabs the bell and he begins uh, uh, making it uh, ring and uh, he claps his hands and um, and I say very good, very good. Okay, thank you. You good? You good? I sorry. <laughs> All right. I okay. I very awkwardly walk off to the portal. <laughs> we, were, we were beating on a mentally handicapped oh. <laughs> guys. A, can we just agree? Can we just agree to leave this out of our epic poem? That <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, this man definitely has like a three intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So is everybody uh, headed up or? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to wait until next session to do the uh, teleport, teleport job? Well, there is Probably. a it's a it's a very good stopping point after the teleport. After uh, the teleport? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Cliffhanger away. All right. So we're done with teleporting, guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna move everybody up to the room. There's no reason for you guys to have to deal with all the annoying walls and. Uh, well, I was actually moving. Farblex does not follow you. It was an accident. Uh, <laughs> like, no, you stay. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Actually, he would follow you guys because he wants to stand and try to guard for you. Uh, the teleport. So uh, let me move him up there. All right. Uh, and he keeps telling you as he's following. He's ringing the bell and clapping every time he does it as you guys walk up. <laughs> And, uh, what have you done? And he's what saying, done, Drazier, man? Drazier, Drazier word. Uh, stand circle, Drazier. All right, guys. Let's all stand on this uh, teleportation circle. All right. So you guys, uh, you stand on it. And um, uh, just for uh, fun, because it feels right, uh, I need everybody to say the magical word at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Count us down. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> There's a large flash of light uh, that that blinds uh, you for a moment, um, and uh, as the light subsides, um, you're now standing in another circle, uh, but you're now outside, um, and you're you're it's it's daytime. Um, uh, you can sound you hear a lot of nature sounds around you. You see a forest area. Um, you can tell that you're high up. You can see the lands below you. Um, and standing before you is uh, a wooden, um, kind of like a log-built um, uh, building. Um, looks like a lodge of some sort. Um, and you can tell you are high up on a mountain somewhere. Um, give me just a second here. I've actually got an image for you just to give you a good okay. visual here. Mm. Mm. Is there a teleport underneath us here? Yeah, he said this is another circle. Oh, nice. can you guys see Ooh. the picture? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Is there a real dragon there? No, there's. The that's just for fun. That's just for D and D fun. Uh, but uh, that's where you guys are, and that's what you see: um, a foresty area, mountainous. Uh, you you can tell your high elevation, and that is before you. Okay. Now, Are we nowhere near where we were? Like how far away? Like we look around and yeah, how... this is nothing like uh, your surrounding areas you've been to. Um, okay. Mm. Wow. Okay. Mm. Well, I wonder where we are. 
Even the trees are different, right? Like uh, you I, have. Can I roll a history to see if I know where we are? Yeah, sure. Eleven. Uh, no, you're not sure. Anybody else want to try? Yeah, actually, I I, I want to particularly look at the architecture of the houses and determine if this is like, you know, like our equivalent of you can tell this is oh this is a German house. Mm. What are what are we rolling? History. History. Know where we are. We uh, Lenora, right? Lenora, check nature. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, that's a, that's a uh, good Balasar. role. Play. Yeah, Balasar recognizes they are on the Gray Peak Mountains. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys visually. Um, I turn to everyone, all of a sudden having a pipe in my mouth, and I say, We are on the Gray Peak Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't you studied this local? when you were lads in school? Balasar, how in the world did you know that? <laughs> well, Balasar, why are you smoking a pipe? All right, uh, I'm a, a life of study for me. <laughs> I want to show you guys. So you guys were um, at Waterdeep. Yeah, north of Waterdeep. Um, mm -hmm. So you guys were here. Where's Waterdeep? Okay, so you guys were roughly. You guys were there. Uh, now mm -hmm. you are somewhere in these mountains. Oh, <gasps> shit. Wow. wow. Roughly a 700-mile difference. Yeah. Uh, mm. I th I, we should have uh, looted that castle a little more before I quickly... Got <laughs> oh, yeah, and I've got crazy news. Uh, that was a massive place you guys just left. Um, you guys just, like, totally cheesed it. You jumped in a window, skipped half of it, directly went downstairs, and then went directly <laughs> to the end of the dungeon. Um, so, actually, it's level up time. Uh, that is a... That is a you guys, you, you, oh guys you guys just spanked a whole episode. <laughs> like, okay. Wow, yeah, wow. we... Yes, no you know what would have happened, though? Honestly, we, like, if... if, if uh, my fiance hadn't tried to kill me. Uh, we probably would have spent a long time in that area. Yeah, that's called failing upward. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's like to be white, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, Finally. Uh, Nathan, I just rolled a survival to see if we could find a place that's safe to rest. Uh, yeah, so um, I, I really didn't expect you guys to get here so far um, or so, tonight. Uh, give me a second here. Doesn't help to flip through the monster manual. Give me one second. Let me see exactly what's going on here. Because I read this, but it was a while back, and I don't remember the details. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So uh, basically, you guys could duck off into the, you know, the forest. Um, this isn't mm -hmm. a town. It's just a a big lodge. So you guys could just duck off into the. There's no one outside at this particular time. So you guys, I will say you guys okay. duck off into the forest, away from the building, and uh, a nice quiet spot. And uh, I'll long rest everybody. Um, now, before we long rest, I have something important that I need to say to the group. I, Krabic, did something very immature to <laughs> our teammate Fife. Fife was very charmingly trying to bring some levity to the situation. It was doing a very cute. Uh, oh, look at me, I'm falling over the ledge bit, which I should have appreciated. But instead, I used my little bat, <laughs> Batic, to trip her, to teach her a lesson about the consequences of her actions. The actions being, now, now, being I, very I, nice and cute. I had already checked out the, <laughs> the, the depth of the cliff, so I knew it would not be fatal, but I did not think that she would get as hurt as much as she did. And I did not wish to uh, make her angry and, and hurt her feelings. And so I want to say I'm sorry. You know, it's totally fine. I appreciate the apology. And I'm just happy that we were able to really zoom. Through. It feels like we were on the right path. Says Fife, but Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs>
an entirely different conversation will be mm-hmm, happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I just want to admit I openly. I just want to admit openly that uh, I also sometimes will be like, "Oh, I'm a little baby, rub my belly." <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go ahead yeah. and be that guy that admits that I also do that. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I turn to the group and puff my pipe and say, <laughs> the locals have known, long known the Great Peak Mountains as the Apology Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> I sip some tea. So if you guys want to do your level up tonight, or if you guys just want to do it another time, let me know. Um, but we're going to end it here. It's a good good stopping point. I get everybody's long rest in. Um and thanks, everybody, in chat for joining us tonight. Hope everybody had a good time as they spanked that um, uh, gargantuan place so quickly. Uh, oh, and we man. will continue next week um, as uh, these guys are really uh, turning up the heat and getting deep into this uh, this campaign. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for joining tonight. And we will see you next Monday at the same time. Good night. Bye. Thank you.